Chris. Well done. Nicely done. Yeah. Um, Represent the team. <clears throat> that's fair. That's fair. Oh, uh, let's see. Today is Thursday. Um, what's been going on? I have continued more of the desk cleaning. Look, you can see my little Xbox human jig there. There, I'll put it up there. There you go. Here, that yeah. Wait a minute. I have a better idea. I'm gonna rearrange. Are you gonna put it in your butt? No. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in. Oh, I thought you said a better oh, idea. It's freaking gone. There we go. Hey, you can see it behind me now. That's pretty neat. Hi, I'm Miss Allie Beth and Dennis and Fritz. Hope y'all are doing well. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Thursday. I'm like I legitimately had trouble remembering what day it is, and I love that for me. To be perfectly honest. Welcome to my world. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was cleaning up the desk some more today. Um, I actually got a little bit of cable management done underneath here. Um, so that's good. Some of my cable clips that I had was working with. Um, yeah, so it's going well. Show me what you're working with. Push clips. Well, the ones that are just like the the rubber eyes that you just shoop, shoop mm. right in. So, yeah. I actually want to put like one a... behind there, but yeah, we'll get there. I like a nice J channel. Mm, yeah, good J channel. Do enjoy a J channel, yeah. I just don't want that much like hardware under the desk, so you know. Uh, yes, well, they make is... them. Uh, they make them sticky too, you know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, that is the wee baby needs painting up there. It sure is. It sure is. Uh, let's see. J and Silent Channel, as it were. Yes. Um, Hello. Hello. I got a. Oh, Hello. I bumped, I bumped the camera. That's. There we go. That's better. Buck, I can't remember what she used uwu with. Liz, what did she use uwu with the other day that was hilarious? You know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Um, I can't remember what it was. Son of a... Uh, fuck. I'm... Yes. Yes. DuckTales. Yes. Thank you. That's it. Thank you, Ali like... Beth. Thank you, thank you. Yep. See, okay. between the, the people screen. watching and the two of us, we form one functional brain. <laughs> yeah, I get fine. that a lot, Dennis. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I think the camera's right. I don't know. I don't. I don't fucking. Well, know I mean, I can see you. So does that count? Y yeah, but like, I don't know if I'm like too far to one side or not. I don't know. I'm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I cleaned Just, up some stuff. You know. I got rid of some old electronics. Um, I went. If you in. go too far to one side, the whole room will tip. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Careful. And if, you, and if every and if you all look out of the left side of your plane, <laughs> it'll tip over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found I found this that I've had for several years now. Um, this was the poster that I got. Sailor Moons. Yeah, Sailor Moons, and Sailor Moons, Super Sailor Moons. Sailor Moon Supers. Yes, yeah, Sailor Moons Supers. Yes, so. Uh, actually, Mochi is is doing some of that tonight. Um, no, that was from several years ago when they did a uh, they did a re-release of Sailor Moon uh, the the movies in the theater. Um, it was one of those Fathom events where you can go and watch stuff, <clears throat> um, like special events that aren't just like the normal, you know, coming to theater stuff. So, Super Sailor Moons. Yeah, there you go. Um, it's like Super Mario Brothers, you know. It's the Marios. <laughs> um, yeah. Super Super Sailor Moon's land to the six golden m moons or something. I don't, fucking I don't know. That's it. That's the best I got. That's all right. You lost me a while ago. Yeah, it's okay. I lost me a while ago. I don't fucking know what's going on. Anyway, uh, welcome. It's Thursday. Uh, I'm gonna be sucking some more because I don't know what else to do, and this is the best that I. This this is it. This is my entire brain. That's all I got. Um, but you know, I mean, it's it's better than a lot of people got. Well, that's all right. That's I guess that's fair. <sighs> I'm uh. 
I'm at least gonna start with some zombie action. I think. Do I? Okay, I can't make it in. Yeah. I can't remember what the hell I was doing on this save, so. This is going to be. Oh, my Avis pick up chests now. Oh, uh, yeah, isn't that nice? Mm hmm. They don't pick up golden chests, but they do pick up regular chests. Mine also pick up the golds. Mine don't pick up the golds yet. I've gotten two, and the boy, there's some good shit in there. I can, I, I can imagine. Uh, I do have my spawn time way down though. Uh, it's now it's it's down from 30 minutes to 24. So I've I've done some good reduction on that. You're a big old Viv, nerd. did you manage to type all of that without hurting yourself? Yeah, I don't know. That's impressive that you could type all that one-handed, considering you fucked up the other one. Hey, Viv. Hey, Viv, remember that time you didn't injure yourself? Neither do any of the rest of us. <laughs> Buddy, you gotta not do that. I cannot stress enough how much you gotta not do that. Just, like, don't. Like, if you're ever thinking about doing it, just don't. Instead of doing it, then do not that. Yeah, that's... That's a good one. That's a good... You don't know what we mean. No, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm. No. Nope. Mm. Because... Because, uh... Every hospital in a 50-mile radius of you knows. Yeah, pretty much. You're fine, everything. I don't think you're... I, I don't think either one of those are true statements. The second one certainly isn't, in a general sense. And the first one, I know for a fact isn't, because I've seen your hand. You may not remember this, but you posted pictures. Yeah, well, it's the it's the blood loss, you know? Sometimes it, it comes along with short-term <laughs> memory loss. Oh, we saw your bandage tan. Yeah. Do you know why you bandage things? Because they're injured, you see. That's why. That's what bandages are for, are for injuries. That's their specific purpose. Just like my specific purpose is to sit here and berate you for being accident prone. That's my specific purpose. And Tom's specific purpose is to cackle maniacally at things and eat potatoes. Mm. Done and done. See? <laughs> How to speak Minnesotan? No, but I w I'm going to have to go check that out. Uh, PBS, I actually support our local PBS station. Um, it's not much, but it gets me access to the online streaming stuff, and I like that. Every I once believe. in a while, there is something nice to, to watch on the PBS Local Ellie Beths in my area also support the local PBS. Well, that's because they are they their programming is possible because of viewers like us. Uh, Dennis, the answer is yes. The answer is I mean, yes. How cooked? But they're either cooked or they're not. Well, that's not like a. <laughs> and yes, thank you, Fritz. I would love to see that. That would be great. You were raised on PBS? I mean, as many of us were. You know, things like Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers. All possible because of public television funding, baby. Okay, Viv, enjoy injuring yourself tonight. Let us know what the, uh, the flavor of the day is later. Roadshow. Oh, yeah. America's Test Kitchen is great. Oh, we haven't watched the Roadshow in a while. Yes, it's the public broadcasting system. Um, it's it is the it's the publicly funded television. So here in the states, Dennis, um, most TV is um, is corporate commercialized. Um, 
and like everything else pretty much yeah every everything in everything in America is capitalism um, uh, but PBS is one of the few things that is public like that is actually funded by um, partially by tax dollars partially by donations from from viewers that uh, is it is nonprofit television um, and they produce a lot of educational and informational instructional sort of things um, historical, just all kinds of great, great programming and content. Um, but things like Sesame, again, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, they got their start because of uh, public television stations um, that were PBS or PBS affiliates. Three channels, one, two, and three that are not ad-based. The rest are solely ad function. Yeah, that's yeah pretty much pretty much pbs stations are are just the only ones that are not like i mean there are ads on some pbs stations but again it's for things that are like you know this programming is brought to you by and it's you know they they're actual sponsors of the programming and the the, the stations themselves uh pbs by stations the number three huh by the number three but yes and and the letter and the letter Z. We don't say Z here, um, but yes, we do get we get we get yeah like uh, a lot of of stuff that comes from other uh, from overseas. We will get as part of PBS. Um, it's like a lot of like UK programming. Um, we will get that way. That's you know licensed to PBS stations. PBS stations are also no, it's not Z underscore. Mm -mm. No, it's Z underscore. Uh, so things like um, um, public universities and things like that, um, they will be the local broadcast affiliates. Uh, so because of the size of the states, um, you know, television broadcast television works on like an affiliate basis because. Um, you know, feeds only travel so far over uh, uh, antenna. So what will happen is these local affiliates will bring the primary feed from satellite and then incorporate their own, sometimes their own local flavors into it for whatever it is. Um, so you support individual stations um, when you support a PBS station. So, yeah, Sherlock. Yep, sure was. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Relax. But yeah, that's Almost what we... there with a weapon of your demise. Yeah. Tom, are you Zambian? Yeah. Yeah. Are the Zambies just itching to get their, their faces smashed in? They must have missed me. They I've must have. Played in a few days. Yeah. Well, you know, what are you gonna do? Ooh, hey, I unlocked the uh, the mine, so I can do that finally. Ah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm looking forward to it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, Dennis, you should probably go get some, try to get some rest, buddy. Um, but if you do want to talk about the uh, the API stuff later, hit me up. And we can talk about that. Uh, I don't know how much is going to end up changing in version six. I mean, everything will, but that's that is future us's problem. Wishbone. Speaking of literary, Wishbone came from PBS. Okay. Yep. And then there was a uh, there was a math show uh, called Square One that was PBS. Um, it was public broadcasting, uh, and they had like little mini shows. It was like a little mini variety show kind of thing, um, including MathNet, which was a math version of Dragnet, and it was great. Arthur. Yep. And Zoom. Yep. 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 And Square One, I loved Square One. I loved it so much. It was great. But, you know, I was a math kid. 
Keep waiting for a square two, and I just think it's gonna happen. Listen, you you hit perfection on square one. You know why? It's like getting loaf. Like we can't, we can never get another cat, and we peaked. Why? Why would you? Why would we get another cat? And we what got the, the we got the perfect cat the first time out. I don't know. You were you were accusing her of some stuff earlier. Oh no, the, the, she did it. She did it. She got a no, ma'am, and then she got down and she she's she peek over the chair like, hello, hello. I mean, I don't know why you're accusing her of stuff. It's clearly your fault. Ghost Rider. Oh, I forgot about Ghost Rider. That's a good one too. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Under there. <laughs> nice. Reading Rainbow with Living Legend LeVar Burton. That's right. Uh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Was um, is still one of probably still a top five game show because of the way the format worked and like it was it was incredibly entertaining and well done. Um, I like. And there. for featuring Rockapella. Yeah. Yeah. Rockapella was fantastic. I didn't even... That was how I learned that that was even a genre of music. Yeah. Also, hi, Tay. How you doing, buddy? Uh, lamb Chop, Bill Nye. Bill Nye, the Fucking science guy. I hated Lamb Chop. <laughs> uh... There was a there was an episode of the nanny that had Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop on it. And <laughs> it's because Vegeta, no. Vegeta, yes. There's and then there's this asshole. It's mostly an age thing. Um, it was, it was that was on when my sister was of age. I was gonna to say be yeah. watching it, but I am six years older. Yeah. Oh, great. Great. Once Lollipop is done bibbiting some bobbities over there with his food, he'll, he's going to come in and start some shit, as he does. Well, that chicken and rice isn't going to eat itself. Now, that's true. You're not wrong. Hey, I don't know. He you, he might have gotten chicky tendies. We don't know. He might have had and the chicken rice. and rice for lunch. Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego? The animated series, yeah, that was pretty good too. But the live-action game show was just peak. leftover chicken wings. Wow, we were both wrong. It was a different form of chicken. Close enough. <sighs> but yeah, the uh, I I absolutely loved. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Like the chief. It was fantastic. It was a game show on public television with an acapella group that sang, that, that did all of the music. And, and more often than not, she was in Madagascar. Yes, that's also true. <laughs> um, and they had, it featured, like, the one of the, the main people on the show was the chief of Acme the intelligence agency who tracked down Carmen San Diego and it was a black woman which was also just at the time to have a black woman in like an authority figure role even then was like wild i just i loved everything about it loved everything about it okay tay that's really that's actually really fucking cool that's really fucking cool That's only 14 years younger than you. Yeah. Yeah. Vortex. So anyhow, this here, and mm -hmm. could be alone in the world, but this is okay. kind of why I I I like Suck Night. What, I don't why? Know. It just seems to lend itself to uh, these sorts of conversations more. Because we're not like I'm not, you know, I'm just I'm just mindlessly doing a game, and we can actually talk about different shit. 
Yeah, a game that literally requires zero thought. Just mm -hmm. we knew him and we wish. I mean, it requires like one thought. Like, where do I spend my tokens? And then, then, then I go back to the suck. Lynn Thigpen, that was her name. Thank you, Fritz. Remember in the anime series, Karma and Shota Zako without any hope because apparently they didn't deactivate her security from when she was an agent? Yes, I do remember that. I do remember this that. This is a song that does it end. And then there's this fucking this guy. Not it on my friends. Oh my god. Isn't it weird how Lollipop just wound up in uh, AFK? That's so weird, huh? It's, <laughs> it's wild. Wild, crazy stuff. Uh. No one's ever done that to me. <laughs> Especially not Viv. Who... No, no, Viv would never. It's okay, he can't right now because he's only on got one that. good hand. <sighs> you remember when Viv was intact and uninjured? No, I don't. No one else does either. Remember when Viv had that freak masturbating accident? <laughs> Do you have any idea how little it narrows it down? <laughs> <sighs> Miss Ellie, hello, good evening. Hi, diddly ho, neighborino. Uh, what's Louie doing? What? How can we? How can we antagonize Louie tonight? That's really probably sleeping. Yeah, he might be. Hopefully, Gal Gadot is a live-action Carmen San Diego. Listen, yes, shoe fits. I mean, uh, Carmen San Diego really as a character, as a as a like an an actor profile needs really three things one she has to be tall two she has to have dark hair and three she has to have the red trench coat and big ass hat That's okay so three is not really a factor because that we can acquire yeah but like it has to look right on her you know like not everybody looks good mm -hmm. in a hat and a trench coat like you mm, don't. She you, wore a red coat when uh, when she did Wonder Woman. So that's true. Looks that's good on her then. See exactly. You lost him to you lost him to Overwatch hours ago. Oh yeah. So he's yelling about things, just generally being Scottish. You can always just take right. him to Arby's. And sensual sassiness. That's true. That's true. Yes. Right, mission complete. Swap to looting goggles. Allie Beth. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Haley Atwell. That's is right. Actually, Picky Carter. That's correct. Let's just, let me put it to you this way. We know, we know. In the Marvel Universe, <laughs> Peggy Carter is my Winter Soldier as it relates, as he relates to Bean. She is, she is to me as the Winter Soldier is to Bean. Oh, don't watch the second Doctor Strange movie then. Stop. Yeah, don't do anything spoiler. I haven't watched any of that stuff. <laughs> no, I just mean stop in general. I know, you stop. <laughs> we don't talk about anything tragic in the MCU. Yeah, so does my wife. So does my wife, Ellie. I'm sure you. I'm sure the two of you could talk for years, on end, about how much you both love him and why. Is it because of his penis? Almost, almost exclusively, yes. Nailed it. Could be a gumshoe in the car movie. I. I mean, listen, they. Listen, they made they made Hugh Jackman different height when he played Wolverine, Schnickety Schnickety Schnoik, so you know, why not? Huge jacked man. Huge jacked they man. They also made 
They also made Chris Evans a tiny puny man. They did, it's true, before he was... In the first Captain America. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, before, mm-hmm. He, before he was on the juice. <clears throat> he was Tommy Lee, that's that's true. Sebastian Stan did play Tommy Lee. Yep. In the, uh, the, the movie about him and Pam Anderson. <laughs> He was on the uh, he was on the dais of one of the roasts, one of the celebrity roasts. Mm-hmm. I think it was Jeff Ross. God, was talking about <laughs> talking about uh, seeing his home movies. <laughs> his dick is so big it has an elbow. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> uh. Jeff Ross, who's who's literally only paycheck is Comedy Central to do celebrity roasts, and then he goes back and just wastes it all on booze and continues trying to drink himself to death. Uh, it is it is an Avengers Cup. Um, it's an Avengers Cup, so it has it's got Iron Man and also Angry Science Man. No banner, only Hulk. Didn't realize who he was in the Avengers. Nice. No, no, this is this is green angry science man. You're thinking of Scottish angry <laughs> science man. It's 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 very slightly different. <laughs> uh, another movie about to, I maybe I don't know. Fritz, thanks for the lurk, pal. The, but you may you may absolutely be right, Tay. Don't let it go to your head. Did that kill him? Probably. It did. Nice Yay. shot. Well done. Get them zambies. Drugs. Drugs. It was a really long distance shot with the crossbow. It's like a Hail oh. Mary. So the correct response was boom shakalaka. Oh, I used that today. Yes, today. So I was watching Lissa, Lissa T earlier. For those of you who don't know, um, Lissa's great. She used to live here in Florida. She's originally from Florida. She's lived a, quite a number of places, um, but she's done a lot of like acting and uh, like modeling kind of work and stuff. Uh, she recently, about a year ago now, moved to the UK with her. I think at that point was then fiance, now husband, um, and uh, she's she's fantastic. Uh, where's my where's my thing? Yeah, um, but Liz is fantastic. She's really really great, and uh, Zam knows her. Zam also knows how great she is, and she also knows how smelly Zam is. So you know it works out. <clears throat> um, but today I was hanging out in her chat for a while and we were doing all kinds of stuff and I was, I was on fire today. Like I was, I was in oh, rare no. form and making all Oh, of... good. Figuratively. Figuratively. Yes. Not literally on fire. No, 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 no. I'm not tug. Um, <laughs> so, but it was, I was, I was having a very on day today in her chat and so I got to, you know. Someone was saying how I was on fire, and I, I gave them the boom shakalaka. You do not out Hanzo the Hanzo God. Yeah, I, I will never learn who any of them are in Overwatch, and that makes me happy. I don't, I don't need that kind of... That's not knowledge that I'm just ever going to use. Ever. It'll be great that I never use that. I'm very tempted Correct. to play Fortnite. Oh, you mean like now? Yeah. Overwatch is going to continue to exist exist strictly because of porn, and that's it. Buddy, buddy, rule 34 states that if it exists, there is porn of it. Right. 
Everything, everything has porn of it. And that was true of Overwatch before any characters were actually released of it. Oh, hey, Tay want Tay Tay says that we uh, we can groan in dismay at his return. All right, are you ready, boys? All right. Oh, we're gonna groan. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna groan in dismay. Yeah, Let's no, try. we're we're gonna groan in dismay at Tay's being. All right, on three. One, two, three. Uh, 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 wait, that's, no, that was dismay. That's 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 oh, not dismay. God damn it! No, nope. I tried. Son of a bitch, Tom. You had one job. <laughs> I've asked you to do one thing on the stream ever, and that was groan in dismay. It was too many things. Uh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, Tom is never okay. No, it's mostly the lack of potatoes. He would be more okay if he had more potatoes. Wait, are you offering me potatoes? <laughs> I'm not offering you potatoes. I'm explaining that you would be better off with more potatoes. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> Sounds like Miss Sally Beth did a little something spicy there. <laughs> also provide sun chips. Yes, there are six Toms outside and they all want sun chips. Could you imagine? <laughs> if there were six Toms? Yeah. No, I would I would I would yeet myself into the sun. Oh, Lords of Darkness assemble! God, <laughs> it's like two Krakos. That's woof, woof. That's that's nightmare fuel. Thank you, Ellie. That's I, I didn't want to sleep ever again. Just the thought of two Krakos just makes me cringe in terror. <laughs> oh boy, that takes effort. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's, uh, Ellie's like, sounds like Allie Beth did something spicy, and Allie's like, mm, but I'm really tired. <laughs> Tom is a like, Tom is one third of a cracko. God. <laughs> Tom's more cracko than you think. Oh, this one a mini cracko? Don't you matter? Don't you dare put? Don't you put that evil on us, Ricky Bobby? Although you may be correct. Uh, also, hi, Matter. How you doing, pal? I'm sucking. Technically correct. In this case, the worst kind of correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, is there more? I thought I got them all. That reminds me. There's, uh... There's Futurama stuff in Fortnite now. Die music? Yeah, but I heard not the good thing. What do you mean, not the good thing? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Not the thing. Not the thing that everyone agreed they wanted, which was... Zoidberg content besides like a sticker or whatever they made of him. Okay, so oh, here's emote. they so made him an emote. They made him yeah, so they made him an emote. Um oh yeah, matter I, I I I do all the sucking, it's true. Um so they <laughs> well, released they released three characters. They released Fry, Leela, and Bender. And they released like all of them with like two skins, so like the original and like the universe one, the so like the one where like Fry is actually smart and and Bender's made of gold and all that kind of stuff, like the different color variations of them. Um, and then they also released the Planet Express ship as a glider, the uh, the unbendable girder with the bend in it, um, as a harvesting tool, um. <laughs> And then a couple other things, but one of the things was they have they didn't release Zoidberg as a playable character, but they have the emote of him, and it actually gives you like the the lobster claws of him going, and you can like it's a traversal, so you can walk around like that, doing the Zoidberg walks, which is great, and I want it, but at the same time, it's like. Eh. No, that's that's not, well. That's not necessarily where Lolly gets that no, noise. That noise. That's where Futurama got that noise. That's where Futurama. Okay, so Futurama. Well, uh, let's back up a little bit. Let's let's clarify. Lolly may have gotten that noise from Futurama. Futurama got that noise originally from the Three Stooges. All of them. Well, maybe not all of them, but you know, at least one of them. I have. I am not an aficionado of either oh, of those. I just do it. Th this is just me doing me, honestly. Uh, 
I'm just a weirdo like that. I bean and or loaf. Probably bean. It's bean. Tom says I had a bean and or loaf. Probably bean. Dr. John Zoidberg. Hmm. Uh. All right, let's see. Yay, I'm in E-Mode. Everybody do the Zoidberg. No, 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 that's... That's fine, Ellie. I'll remember that. And... Thunder will remember this. I will remember. I, I remember the petty bullshit. Thanks. They're called Avas. They're autonomous vacuuming assistants. Hey, Roombas. Whoa, whoa, matter. No, 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 no. Whoa, nobody used that that legally protected brand name. <laughs> they're they're no, legally. Nobody said that. <laughs> they're legally distinct small robot vacuum cleaners. No, you see, if you still say the brand name, Ellie, it's no longer legally distinct. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's why we uh, refer to Louie as legally distinct uh, angry Irishman. I guess, I guess it could be worse. Could it? I might play some Fortnite. What are you doing? You can play. You can play. <laughs> did your mention of the word Fortnite summon Bean? It did actually. Huh? Do your walkies. I'm vacuuming. Bean's doing walkies. Got this house and then it turns out they did have one. We used to have one downstairs, but we don't we don't use it anymore, um, cause it's, uh, like the downstairs is all tile now, so we just occasionally sweep and everything's fine, we don't need to. Oh yeah, eBay's great for that kind of stuff. I've gotten a couple things off of eBay fairly recently. We, yeah. uh, well, we have one, but in this house, there's too many transitions, like... It looks like they put in, the previous owners put in wood floors, but didn't really go all the way with it. So there's a lot of height differentiation and uh, yeah. transitions, and it gets stuck on them. And I feel like in order to fix that, I would have to replace the entire first floor worth of flooring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm not made of floors. I don't know how Roombas themselves operate because we had a, we had a not Roomba. We had a, we had a, literally a legally distinct robot vacuum. Um, so ours would just like beep at us and like our phones would go off whenever it got stuck or something. That's effort and Tom is That's... not about that life. You, n few, fewer, truer statements have been spoken. Well, uh, I mean, it's like if I have to go and continuously unstick the Roomba, I might as well just vacuum myself. Mm -hmm. My god. Bean goes to pull her little treadmill out uh, from under the bed, and Oh, Lofa's, that kind of walkies. Yeah, she's not going outside, because it's very hot and gross out there. Well, I mean, I thought it was a terrible idea, but I wasn't gonna tell her how to live her life. Well, listen, she, I mean... She 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 married me, but she's not stupid. That's like her mulligan. That's her one. And like some people like heat. I don't know. She does not like heat. I mean, no one should, but some people do. Okay, so that. I won't tell everybody. Yeah, I love you. Yep. Ah, uh, and it's Florida. Yeah, that's oof, oof. Uh, 
I didn't know that people could yell not angrily in German or Roombas for that matter. I thought or oh, just I thought speak. German was yeah, yeah, I thought German was just angry by default. And, and out, out outside and called grass. Ugh. That sounds Ellie, now you're just making things up. Stop making things up. She's trying to confuse you. Well, she's doing a great job of it. It's not hard, though. Oh, my God. So, listen. Listen. Uh, Bean's trying to get her treadmill out from under the bed, and Kitten's cat says, No, it's for me. She just... Oh, my God. She's just <laughs> laying on it. She's, she's just... Oh, my God. Look. That's a baby. Look at the baby just lay with her tiny tucked paws and her, and her little, little socks. Her little no show socks and her tiny pink wet nose. It's the best little nose. Look at well, that baby. No exercise for you. She's so, sorry. She's so Those are the tiny. Rules. She's the littlest kid in cat. Oh my god. She's just a Perhaps baby. Perhaps it's Lowe's turn to do the exercises. Oh. Uh, you're just gonna have to wait there, pal. Uh. Until she is goddamn good and done. Actually, she did decide that she's like, heck this, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. So Bean was able to, to, uh, to acquire the treadmill from her. No, she doesn't that like the That was very kind of Loaf. It was very kind of Loaf. She's a, she's a, she is a kind, merciful, and generous Loaf. Considering you dare. all, you all did trick her earlier by uh, installing a counter. a counter where she's not allowed to be on it. Yeah, well, and then putting devices that allow her to easily climb up to said counter. And she's curious like a cat, you know. I wonder why that is. Yeah, that's why her all of her friends call her Whiskers. <laughs> I don't call her Whiskers. You're not her friend, you're her uncle first. It's true. You're, she's your cat niece. We, you know this. I'm, I'm, I'm her funkle. You, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, thanks for the fucking Seinfeld transition music. <laughs> well, no, I was doing, I, I was doing funk. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> So uh, I could take the pun, like, so I could stretch it one step further. <laughs> Which works great for me. After... Oh, man, some... After everything that we've been through, why would you betray me like this, Ellie? That's hurtful. How should she betray you? That's hurtful. That hurts. It hurts. You know what else hurts? What? A kick in the nuts. I hope this helps. It's kind of like a kick in the nuts. My friend. My friend. Hey, uh... Y you've been kicked in the nuts. Oh my god! That's okay, that's <laughs> funny. Uh, hey, uh, Lolly. Um... Yeah? I just lost the game. Hmm. Oh, also, Brad wanted me to tell you that he lost the game. Hmm. So, yeah. That sucks. Yep. Hope this helps. It does. Yeah. Sometimes I just like to wee, just fly stuff around. Deal. Oh, I have chests. 435 of the silvery tokens, 11 minute time lapse. Nice, nice, nice. Like that, like that. What's my gravity well at? Ooh, 22k is not terrible. Oh shit! Kitten's cat, what are you doing? I'm keeping an eye on Bean. She's sitting outside of the, uh, she's sitting out of the side of the cozy room door. Cause like Bean's got the do door pushed mostly closed. She doesn't like the sound of the treadmill, but she's like sitting outside. She's she's laying. She is like laying in full loaf position. Just 
kind of monitoring the situation. Kitty baby. No. What you doing, baby? What you doing? You waiting for Bean? You making sure Bean's okay that the little monster's not gonna get her? I know. You're a very good guard kitty. You're the very best kitten's cat. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Oh, I love you. She's very sweet. She is, she is always being the bestest kitten's cat. She gets all of the scritches. She loves them. They're her favorite. Scritches and ear rubs. Actually, I've been teaching her her left from her right. Um, so when I go to give her ear rubs, I'll go, do you want left ear rubs? And she'll turn her head so that like I'm rubbing her left ear. And uh, I'll go, do you want more? Like she'll go and she'll like try to turn her head the other way. I'm like, you want more on the left? And then she'll go and turn it back to the left to get more rubs. I'm like, okay, you want right ear rubs? And then she'll turn her head to the to the right. And it's, she's very smart, kitten's cat. And she knows she knows her left from her right, which is impressive because I didn't get that nailed down until I was like four, and she's only two. I'm still working on it. Well. Listen, in fairness, you know, you got your public education in Florida, so you're doing the mm -hmm. best you can. What is a left? Some kind of salad. I thought it was some kind of salad dressing. <laughs> he is not a smart cat. He is not a smart cat, but he knows what love is. Does he want you to show him? <laughs> I wonder if Loaf will eventually try to get onto the treadmill with Bean. Forward, back up, That's and Louie. <laughs> yeah. North, west, and Louie. <laughs> Louie is like north, you see. Because what is going tough. on in there? Treadmillin'? She's saying very, very lovesy things to Loaf, and I'm like, well, I don't know what's going on. I like Loaf. Loaf is doing something impressive, uh, like more impressive than usual. Like not necessarily. This is just the proper amount of respect to show to Loaf. Oh, she, wait, no, maybe she's not. Uh, maybe she's on. Maybe she's FaceTiming with the wee baby niece. Yeah, I think she's... Okay. Okay, I'm actually catching more of it now. <laughs> Am I talking to a cat or a toddler? <laughs> Who's to say? <laughs> In this house, it could be either, you know? At any given point, it could be either. You know, if I'm not in the room, I have no idea. Also, sometimes, every once in a great while, the, the wee baby niece will just randomly FaceTime Bean. She'll, you know, you know. You're not. Why? Ellie, why? That sounds. That sounds awful. Is it a birthday or anniversary? That is a message for group therapy. Fair enough. I mean, listen. You're welcome to talk about it here, if you if you wish. Or in our group therapy channel in the Discord. Mm -hmm, either way. Which is literally group therapy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Slash, yell at Viv for injuring himself. Yeah. By the way, I, I was talking to Tom about this, and he knew what I was talking about. But uh, for those of you who I've talked about the thing where Loaf will run toward the stairs and like turn <laughs> and skid um, before she like runs up the stairs. So again, we have tile floors throughout our downstairs. Which means her, as a kitten's cat, uh, she doesn't get a whole lot of traction on them with her little soft toe beans and whatnots. Um, and her incredibly not weight. <laughs> yes, that's also true. She's actually lost a little bit of weight. She was 9.2 pounds when we took her to the vet yesterday. Uh, that's, or was that yes? Yeah, that was yesterday. Jesus Christ. That's a story. God, I can tell you about my day yesterday. Um, anyway, but... The uh, the exact sound that we hear in our heads whenever Loaf runs and skids around and slides around at the bottom of the stairs and then finally 
gets her footing and takes off is exactly what you would think it is from like a Scooby-Doo cartoon where you get like the that that's what it's like watching loaf try to go at the stairs and it's fantastic uh so let me, let me tell you about my day yesterday so i wake up just after eight o'clock right and, and bean has she has gotten she's she is concerned and she has sent me messages and pictures that there is um blood on loaf's litter again this has happened already a few times uh we've been through courses of multiple parasite treatments uh probiotics things like that so bean's very concerned i'm like all right i'll i'll take her to the vet so i wake up see these messages immediately email the vet and they call me back like five minutes later and they're like listen we don't have an appointment but we can fit you in as an urgent care today do you want to come in around nine i'm like sure so i immediately get up get ready grab you know a sample from her litter and put her in the crate and we leave right now this is after i had planned to take my car to the shop yesterday to finally get the air conditioning and wipers like fixed once and for all because they're they're unreliable right now uh, because of an electrical issue that I have with my car um, where that entire subsystem, like that entire section of things will just not work at all. Um, no fan, no air, no nothing, and no wipers. Um, so not... That sounds you know, good and safe. Yeah, so that's why I haven't been driving my car, needless to say, because if there's two things that are critical for a car in Florida summer... It is air conditioning and windshield wipers um, because it rains every day. So uh, I'm like, all right, fine. So I go and check my car. Air's The air's working when I start my car. Air actually worked all day yesterday. Thank fuck because it was, you know, you, everybody you knows how hot it's been. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I get the car started, get loaf collected and everything, and... I head out to take her to the vet. So, take her to the vet. Um, so, the... You know, we do our thing, we wait, we get the preliminary, we talk to the vet tech, the, the vet comes in, and it's a different vet than, like, it's same practice, but a different, like, vet than where you usually talk to. It's a new person, and she has like a much more experienced vet with her because she's new like all new right so we go and um uh doing all the stuff and so they you know they want to do blood work that they can do right then i'm like great do it let's go like yes please find out what is wrong with the cat and so we were talking and uh, the, the more experienced vet was looking at, it's like, is, is her, you know, is her poop usually like this consistency? I'm like, yes. It's like, this is, this is a little hard and her going twice a day is a little unusual for cats. Um, so like pooping twice a day, uh, sh he's like, so let's change her food. Let's get her off of the food that she's on. Cause she's been on the same food that we, um, when we got her from the, uh, shelter, uh, from the Humane Society, she was been eating that same food. So he's like, let's get her on something with a little less fiber. Maybe it's, you know, causing her, like, constipation. It's making it hurt for her to go to the bathroom. Um, so Is that was... a suggestion? Yeah, so it's like, okay, great. That sounds great. So they do the blood work and everything, and they come back in a little while later, and they come back in, like, white and red blood cells. Everything looks great. Um... And the only the only thing that's out of the ordinary in her um, in her blood work is her calcium is a little high, and so I'm like, okay, what does that mean? And so this she already has more calcium than she's supposed to. I hope that helps. Thank, thanks, Chip. Well, uh, so she's I I've already sat here and watched them for the first time. I actually have to they they this is the first. I don't know why they hadn't done this before, but this is the first time they actually went through and checked her. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So that was traumatic to watch as she was, you know, you know, I don't think any cat likes that. I don't think any living creature likes that. No, uh, that's, there are Not humans. The doctor. Again, there are humans. Anyway, um, like. but, so, thankfully, it was the newer vet who had much smaller hands and, you know. But she, she, that's why they keep that one around I guess so she so you know there were there were sad meows about that and then they did the blood hey, work tiny fingers come here I got something for you to work on and then uh, normal's relative normal's relative uh, and then yeah. um, we so then they draw her blood and like she's upset about that because it's a blood draw and then they have to wrap her leg up with like a bandage to make sure that you know, or she doesn't, you know, get blood everywhere and it actually clots like it's supposed to. And she hissed at that thing multiple times. Oh ooh, yeah, flamingo. Ooh. Yeah, the sad meows. Several sad meows yesterday. Also, hi flamingo. It's good to see you. Hello, flamingo. Um. So, yeah. So many sad meows. Several hisses at the bandage, which she finally took off. Um, when she was done with it after a few minutes, and it was fine. She was she 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 was all cleared up by then. So anyway, they bring the blood work in. They're talking about how you know, like all the red and white blood cells look normal, and so they get to the other stuff, like the actual you know the like I guess like the mineral composition and things like that, and fat and all that stuff. And the only thing that's out of normal range is the calcium, which is a little high. I'm like okay, and so the new vet goes. This could be sign of like a. Like some kind of a cancer. I'm like, is this the first place we fucking have to go? And the other guy, thank God, steps in and he goes, it could be just, it, that could just be normal for her. For some cats, it's just normal for them to have a, a slightly higher, like higher levels of that. And you can just continue to monitor it and it's fine. Um, and after, you know. Um, Jesus they, Christ textbook how about a little fucking bedside manner yeah and so like and he's like and after checking you know giving her the the exam um, you know nothing felt out of the ordinary so it's like it, we can do the, the the test to check the calcium levels to see like how they're distributed because like there are different types of calciums like it's um, I forget exactly what it is but it's kind of like high and low um, cholesterol uh, like HDL and LDL cholesterol. Um, there's like different, um, like, uh, I think like absorption types of the uh, calcium. And so, um, it's, and so the, the, the more experienced vet is like, listen, you know, if you, if you don't want to do that and you don't have to, it's like either one is a, a good decision, I think. And I'm like, let's just monitor it for now. We'll change her food. Um, oh, is the ad plane? I'll give it a second. Give it a second. But like... I would be so glad when we can get notified about ads. Okay, alright, so... I thought so you did get notified. We get notified in chat, but I keep... My chat feed, I look in Firebot. I don't keep, like, the, the native chat oh. feed open. Yeah. Um, okay, so, so like, it's like, you know, it could be just, it could be normal for her. You could either, you can monitor it, and, um, you know, some folks that they just monitor it, or you can go ahead and do the test now to see, you know, how the calcium levels are distributed, and we can, you know, go from there if, and just do that. And I'm like, let's just start with her food. Let's just start with the food and see what happens, Okay. Because otherwise, she's incredibly healthy. She's very active, very playful, very talkative. She's actually been more talkative with us and, like, communicative with us in the last few weeks. Like, she's just talking to us and, like, you know, things like she's got little rubber bouncy balls and she loves to, to basically fetch. And, you know, we'll say things, Loaf, you want to throw? And she'll look up, Meow! And she'll, like, she'll, she, she loves to tell us when she wants us to throw the ball, stuff like that. So she's been very, very talkative and snuggly and everything the last few weeks. Like, it's, it's been phenomenal. So, like, I'm like, she's, she, otherwise, she's, she seems normal. And if, you know, her rectal exam seemed normal, then, 
let's just start with the food and like cut down her fiber content and go with like the higher protein food and see if that helps. Okay, let's not go straight to fucking, it could be some kind of a cancer. Cause that's, thanks. Thanks for that. And, like, yeah, Doc, you're some kind of a cancer, okay? So, everything got done. We, you know, I, had, I, while I was still there, um, I had a target order going anyway, so I went ahead and added the, the new food to the order, and I told the vet, like, the, 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 the experienced one, I'm like, this is the one that I'm getting. He's like, that's perfect. That's, that's great. Um, so... We got her new food. She's already started eating some of it. She seems to really like it. It's turkeys flavored, and you know, she's she's my cat. Of course, she likes turkey. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the worst possible. Yeah, let's just let's just start there, or we can back the fuck up, and maybe not. Maybe the fuck not. Um. So. <laughs> Could you do me a favor and make sure this new person never shows her face near my animal again? I would say the cynic in me is uh, thinking that doctor just looked at your cat and saw dollar signs. I, it's she's no, it was it, it was just very textbook. Like it was it was the textbook thing. Like she was just new and does not have much bedside manner. She'll she'll figure it out, but did not have it when I was there yesterday. Okay, so, fine. So, we wrap up. I get Loaf back in her crate. She's actually, like, very happy to go in the crate. And we start making our way home. And, like, the entire time home, she's, like, actually looking at me and does little meows. Not, like, the big howly meows like she's done in the past on the way home or to the vet. She just stared at me the whole time with the occasional slow blink and the little meow, meow. Just to let me know that she's there. She's okay, and she wanted to make sure I was still there, and I would talk to her. It was fine. It was fine. We got her home. She got out of her crate. She wandered around. It was everything was fine. So then I came upstairs to here to just come chill out for a while because I needed to decompress after that. That was a lot, right? Like that's that's just that's my my day consisted of waking up, immediately collecting the cat to go to the vet. And then, at one point, being told, you know, it could be cancer, but it could be nothing. Thanks. So, I come back here to, yeah. to not have a heart attack and do some of this for a few, some of the vacuuming. Uh, I have not... Is she in her... Is she in her igloo? Okay. okay. I mean... Fine. Eh, not really. Fine. I was just, I was, at first I thought you were talking to Loaf, like she came in the room and she was like messing with the treadmill and getting familiar. And then I was listening some more and I'm like, oh no, that's Ellie. I could tell it was Ellie at that point. And Ellie got a bracelet and a apparently, apparently Wee Baby Niece got a new bracelet that she's in incredibly enamored with. And she just runs, <laughs> she, she gets on FaceTime with Aunt Bean Bean and comes over and is like, look at my bracelet, look at it. She's showing it off. Because, you know. She's like, Aunt Bean, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Tom, because... Tom's like, Aunt Bean, look at this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Bean goes to say bye, and Ellie, like, like wee baby niece, leans into the phone. Waiting for Bean to give like the kissy noise at her, because that's how she gives. That's her way of giving kisses. She's, she's not. She's you know, yeah. That's that's it. So, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, Ellie is Ellie is also my wee baby niece. Uh, she's actually almost two now. Um, okay, I love she's you. your wee toddler niece. She will. She she will be. She's yeah. She's basically toddler niece now. Uh, hi, Cars. How you doing, buddy? So anyway, <laughs> after after the, the the vet excursion yesterday, I come home and try to decompress for a few. So I came up here and just chilled out and um, for a few and did some vacuums and blah blah blah. So I'm like, all right, now that I've kind of like come down from all of that, I'm gonna go and do some errands because I had some stuff that I wanted to do. 
Uh, some of that was like take some of our my old electronic stuff to the recycling, like that old server that was in here that turned out to be pointless. Um, some old laptops that we'd had from like many, many, many years ago. Um, my old busted monitor and um, a couple of things that I also wanted to donate. So I'm like, all right, I'll like I get all this stuff down the garage, and you know, it's it's all like servers and shit, so everything's heavy. I finally get it downstairs and in the garage, and it's like, great, okay, ready. I open the garage door and it is raining. I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I guess I'm not fucking going anywhere because again, I don't want to be in my car and the wipers just stop working. Right. So I'm like, well, this is just fucking great. So I go and I'm like, you know, I'm, it's like one something at this point. Um, I wanted to be productive today or yesterday. I'm like, I want to be productive today. And you know, we, I had to take Loaf in and make sure she was okay, and now it's raining, which means I can't do the other stuff I wanted to do. Okay, but in fairness, what's more productive than making sure Loaf is okay? I mean, sure, I just don't want to have to do that. Like, that's... I would rather her not have a reason to go to the vet. So, you know... Um... So... I go and sit in, I sit in the recliner and Loaf actually comes up with me because, you know, she kind of had a fucking morning. And so she gets <laughs> up in my lap and she curls up and she's like stretched out against my leg and there were several snuggles and purrs and pets. So it was, that was she, very nice. Was like, she was like, make sure that I can see your all of your fingers at all times. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Productivity <laughs> thwarted. Yeah, pretty much. So, but it's Florida in summer, so... Rains here, rains for a little while, it finally stops, great, sun comes right back out, I'm like, alright, finally, I, so I load up the car with all this stuff, oh, and my old tube TV, which I finally threw out, I had an old tube TV in the garage that I was hanging on to, in case I wanted something that I needed the tube TV for, I haven't used it. Or they come back in style somehow. Maybe, yeah, and we haven't used it in, I don't know, so many... I don't think I've I don't think I've used it since we've lived in this house, which has been nine years now. I think. I'm like, gonna you know, say. Yeah. You uh you lived there when I moved here. Yeah I yeah so that's very. Oh Lou, you you joined into uh my the my adventures my misadventures yesterday. So I get the car loaded up with all of this shit finally, and so I go by the goodwill and drop off a few things to donate there. Uh, I go by the, uh, there's a local electronics recycling facility, and I drop off all that stuff there and pay like the 25 bucks to get rid of the tube TV because they actually charge because there's like, you know, the cathode ray and the, the hazardous material and blah, blah, blah. So other than that, the other stuff they just take and recycle, which is great, and they just, they securely destroy the data on the hard drives and shit like that. So um, they've actually partnered with the city here before to do... Um, like annual recycling day stuff where they'll 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 have their truck on site at this uh, one of the city sports facilities um, and you can you know with your other secure recycling you could bring your electronics to them so I'm like oh I'll just take this stuff to them anyway because I know the city trusts them I trust them um, so then I go and uh, uh, I'm like all right now I gotta go to Costco so I go to Costco right and and I'm getting a few things from Costco. I'm getting chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, chicken wings, uh, toilet paper, and a couple of other things, right? So I go to the register, and I'm doing my thing, and they get to me in line. It's, it's my turn in line. One of the people over there that's like, because Costco, I don't know if you've ever been to like a Costco or a Sam's Club, like a warehouse store, like a like a big wholesale kind of store like that. But oh, the, once or twice. The checkout experience is a little different. So typically what you do in those stores is it's, you know, it's not so, it's, it's not like the, 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 the same kind of experience as you would see in a typical grocery store. Like they move a lot faster. And it's like, all right, let's fucking go. You got to get the, get your shit and get out of our store. Um, but there's like people that are all along the front as well who are helping out in like kind of directing traffic and shit like that too um, to, to help move people along and, and do any kind of like help or anything necessary. So like 
You know, it's not like they have to fuck out of the store. Yeah, it's like you don't have to call a manager over for a thing because there there are floor managers that are there waiting to take care of shit to get you done and out. Um, so so I'm sitting there and like one of the the people on the floor sees my shirt and I'm wearing my loaf shirt, the one where she's doing the nom noms. Right? Where's my where's my nom nom? You have a num num button? I don't have a num num button, but I do have that. Oh. So I'm wearing the shirt with that on it, right? And so someone comes up and is like, oh my god, where did you get that shirt? That's amazing. I love it. And I'm like, that's oh. I'm like, well. <laughs> well, I'm like, I'm like, actually, this is my cat. They're like, what? So I take out a picture of Loaf that I took earlier that day, and they're like, oh my god. They're like fawning over this picture of Loaf, right? <laughs> And so I'm like, you can actually buy this shirt. And I don't think she, like, thought that I was serious. I thought she, you know, I think she thought I was kidding. But whatever, it's fine. Um, so I'm reverse. going through. She was like, <laughs> reverse. She was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> right meow. Hi, Zam. Uh, so I'm. So I. I'm like, you know, doing all this. So they start, like, scanning my items and shit. And finally, uh, like, at one point, the floor person had to come over and, like, key something in the register. And I'm, like, talking to this other dude that's standing there, like, another employee. And so I get done, and I'm starting to walk away. And the dude stops me. And another different lady walks over. And they're talking to me about the executive membership. Because apparently... I got flagged at the register because I was spending more and more and had more, I was coming more frequently than I have in quite a while. And <laughs> they're like, do you want the executive membership for 50 bucks today? It's no risk. Cause you can come back. And if you don't get, you know, the 50 bucks out of it in a month, then you can come you back. You did and, that to me before. And I'm like, no, I'm like, let me, listen, I'm not doing this today. Let me at least go talk to my wife about this before I make decisions about our Costco membership. For the love of God. And I finally That's get smart. out of that conversation and get out of the store. So I leave the Costco and I'm on my way to Target because I have the Target order that I placed that morning while at the vet that includes Loaf's new food, among other things that we need for the house, right? In including my gallon of milk that I'm drinking from right here. Hi, Mochi. Why don't you just put the straw in the gallon and save yourself a dish? <laughs> because I More like to pace why myself. Why didn't you put the lime in the coconut? No, you don't. And you drink it all up. Yeah. I do pace myself. I don't drink a gallon a day. Anyway, so, um, so I I go to the Target to go pick up this order, right? I'm the only person who's there when I show up to to pick up. I check in. I'm like, great. Another person pulls up. Then a second person. Or I guess a third person, because I was the first. A third person pulls up. And they come out and they drop off to the one person. And that person leaves. Then they come out and drop off a bag to the second person. They leave. And then two more people come. And they're waiting there. And then like a, another... like So by this point, there are now four people that are there. They all want some chips. And two people had already come and gone. So the guy finally comes out with my order... And he's like, listen, I'm really sorry. He's like, they had marked that they had uh, they had missed a couple of items in your order, even though they were they were marked as there, including the pepperoni that Bean had. Um, orange, Carsis, always orange, buddy. Harvest cheddar all the way. Um, and also, Flamingo, I'm, I'm here to have all of the lactose that you can't. So really, you're welcome. Um, so... I, uh, so he's like, yeah, they didn't include the pepperoni and your creamer. And he's like, I couldn't let you like, I'm, I'm not, he's like, I had to go get that stuff for you to make sure like, I'm not going to like come bringing you or your order and it's not complete. I'm like, thank you. 
I appreciate that. He's like, here, here's a gift card for the wait. It was like a $5 gift card. So I got five bucks back from Target just for waiting for like 10 minutes for my order. Um, and I also was able to come home with my Dunkin' Vanilla Extra Extra Creamer for my coffee. So happy about that also. You like to mix them up? Listen, you got to do what makes you happy, buddy. You got you to gotta do you. Uh, so I get that, and then finally I can come home. Uh, I even go so far as to, like, you know, now that the, the, the TV's not in the garage anymore, I can move some things around. I clean out my trunk of my car a little bit. I actually get, like, all the other garbage and stuff out of my car. I unload everything, and finally I am home. But boy fucking howdy, this all happened between the span of like 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m., and I was exhausted. So last night I was just... I was just fucking dead-ass tired. Uh, and I found in the fridge that I had <laughs> leftover Sloppy Joes from several nights ago, and that made me very happy. Did you have any... Uh... Navy beans? No, no. We also did not have any hoagies or grinders. Um, but yeah. Adam what about meatloaf West? sandwich? There Adam it is. West. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a tomato. My happy on a scale of 1 to 80. So by the time I got home last night, I was at about like a 55. Um, because Wait, really? Like, it, well, I was really tired, but, like, we have a plan to make sure Loaf is okay. And, she, like, everything else came back normal and fine. And she got her new food. And she ended up, like, she likes it. And, um... Oh, yeah, that was going to be my next question. So. And, yeah, and I, it's, it's, it's turkey-flavored, so... Um, and... She, uh, the, uh, I got, I'm stocked back up on chicken again, and yeah, I'm, yeah. Are you passing the savings on to you? I am, I am. <laughs> well, no, because uh, you're just stocked, you're not overstocked. Well, that's true, that's true. Um, so, Karsis, I do like the delivery, however, I'm trying to be much better about not paying for delivery things right now because delivery stuff costs more uh, both in the actual f items and in the cost of like the services and the um, you know making sure you tip the people and stuff like that so I'm trying much more to go and do the thing because I don't have a job right now so I'm trying to budget very wisely and be spin thrifty so Wait, that I spend what? when did that happen yeah it's this new thing I'm trying he um, woke up one day and was like, God, Lollipop fucking smells funny. I don't want to work with him anymore. Oh, well, left. I've tried to tell you to shower more and you just refused. So, well, <laughs> you guys have jobs. Patsy, Patsy, these guys have jobs. Oh, uh, like, are you listening, Patsy? He literally doesn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Thrifty equals Costco executive members. Yeah, yeah. I'm not paying for the executive membership. Uh, cause like the, if I'm not spending like over $250 a month at the Costco, which I'm not, then I'm not going to get the executive membership. I spent $200 yeah. there yesterday and that got me enough chicken to last me the month or longer. Oh, no. So I'm good. I'm not coming back for a while. I this might go back. Canceled our... Huh? This is why we canceled our BJ's membership. Yeah, like, I, I get enough out of the Costco to get value out of the normal membership, which is like, I don't know, like 100 bucks a year. I save enough money to do that. And I'll go get their milk and stuff, because their milk is like two seventy nine a gallon or something fucking ridiculous. Or it's like almost twice as much in the goddamn grocery store. All right? <gasps> Ooh, Mochi, I would... Please, please send me all of the pictures of it. Please, if, if nothing else, slide into my DMs with that delicious, delicious crispy pork belly. Um, well, that's the other thing. That's the other thing, Amy. Is like, especially for like produce and stuff. I don't want to. I don't want to put some the pressure on someone to get the like fresh produce and stuff like that because 
I like picking out my own stuff. I just like picking it out. Um, and like, especially in meats. If I'm gonna go like, no one picks out steaks in this house but me. Bean has started to recently, and she has a very good eye for them because she's been studying under me for a, a very long time. She's been my literally, yeah. <laughs> not literally. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but uh, they do the sex. <laughs> anyway. She has she she has been my steak understudy, and she has learned, you know, how to pick out a, a good cut of steak. Batsy, don't you fucking dare! Um, Look, we're just saying that she's been studying meat under you. So it's exactly what you said. We just said it right back to you. I'm sure you. I'm sure yes. <laughs> sure, pal. You said, there you go, Batsy. There it is. There it is. Anyway, so. <laughs> So, I don't trust anyone, you know, outside of this house to, to choose our meat for us. Steak minty. I like that. I like that. But not a that minty... sounds like a way to prepare it. But not a steak... <laughs> but not a minty steak. Listen, Flamingo, I said what I said. Anyway. Uh, so, I like to pick out my own produce and meats, okay? So the fresh stuff. You know... Cans, boxes, frozen, all that kind of stuff. Fine, sure, because that stuff you can you specify, you know, sp very specific brands and everything like that. There's no judgment call to make there, unless they're out of a thing. Now, like we had someone a few weeks ago, um, or a couple weeks ago now, I guess, uh, who uh, I had them get some lunch meat, some of the Hillshire Farm honey ham, and like the plastic little containers in the the, the mm -hmm. deli meat mm -hmm. section. And That's good stuff. They were out of the one that I had picked. And she's like... Motherfuckers. She's like, they got the one pound one. I grabbed you that instead. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. They didn't have the meat you asked for, so I got the one that... The same thing that was just more meat. That's... That's... <laughs> you tend to pick good meat. I bet you do, Batsy. Uh, they aren't looking at expiration dates. I, I trust that they are, and the places that I, like, order from anyway, I know they're really good, like, at least the ones that we have here locally. I know the stores are really good about rotating their stock and pulling expired things off of the shelves themselves. Um, Tom knows this, like, Publix is really good about that, uh, and I know, like, the, the Target grocery that we get, they're also very good about that um, in our experience. Like we've we've never gotten anything from Target that was expired, um, so it's pretty good. Some yeah, of the Target's substitution sold. things that they do sometimes do not make sense. Yes, absolutely, but for the most part, they're fine. And again, because I'm trying to, you know, I'm 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 trying to fall on a budget here. Uh, I'm not doing much delivery at all right now. Like. DoorDash is probably it up. DoorDash is probably like handcrafting a letter to me, um, you know, saying that they miss me and please come back. And, I got your and address from Zaxby's. They probably fucking did. They probably did. Yeah, when the Zaxby's, uh, you know what? Honestly, honestly, I miss getting those cards from the Zaxby's. They never had my home address, so you know what are they gonna do? I, I don't even think the same general manager is there anymore, which is fair. You know, it's, you know how it is. You get a general manager, a good one that comes, spins up a new store, runs it for a while, and then they get a new location that needs to spin up and in a new area and all that kind of shit. And it just, it's the retail round robin. Um, Batsy, thank you for the lurk. Getting pizza delivered? Oh, I love pizza. Now, there's a really good pizza place here locally that we uh, go to. They actually, uh, we started eating there because they sponsor the school where Bean used to work. Uh, and that's how we found out about them. Um, and so they they frequently do, um, you know, school nights where all of their profits for the night go to the school. Um, so that's that's really nice. Uh, and their, their pizza is delicious and they have all kinds of stuff too. Um, they've got really good pasta dishes like their chicken marsala. When I order it, I order it with extra mushrooms, and they give me extra mushrooms, and it's delightful. 
And chicken marsala is is always my that's my barometer for how good of an Italian place um, or how good an Italian place is. So chicken marsala is it's not a terribly difficult dish to make, right? Like there's not a whole lot of components to it. You've got your marsala wine sauce, you've got your mushrooms, you've got your chicken, and then whatever pasta you put it on top of. A lot of times places will do it over a spaghetti or an angel hair or something like that. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. However, while it is not a terribly difficult dish to make, it is also not difficult to fuck it up. Because if you don't do it just right, then you can easily start going sideways on it. So, you know, just pay attention to what you're doing. Do things in, in good ratios, and then it's fine. It's delicious. So chicken marsala is always my way to see how good, of, how good an Italian place is. I fucking love angel hair. Um... So, their their chicken marsala is is fantastic. Um, and I mean, that's a pizza place. Like, it's a it's a delivery takeout pizza place. Like, you know, I'm not expecting Michelin stars here. It's but their their stuff is really really good. Um, so we order from them occasionally. Um, but yeah, like we've we've cut way back on our delivery for everything. Um, uh, I actually have a shipped membership that I've had for. A few years now um, that we were using quite a bit when you know the height of the panini um, just because we didn't want to leave the house and the ship shoppers have always been really good about you know being careful masked all that kind of stuff so um, we uh, we use them for a while and because Sh Target owns shipped now if you order in the Target app with the same account email address that you use for your shipped account um, it's a hair. Hey, you got a few of those. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> this isn't barbecue flavored. <laughs> <laughs> corn? I didn't have any corn. <laughs> um, but... Where did I hit? <laughs> but... Uh, shipped links your target it, it will link with your target account um, if they use the same email address and targets like hey you've got a shift membership you can order from the target app and do you you know you get your free shipping like you get with shipped as part of your membership uh, they don't charge any extra premium for the the items like they do with everything else there's no markup on the items themselves and we also have the target red card um, which we pay off every month, so we just get like the five percent back, like the five percent discount on everything that we get from Target. So it all works out. Uh, so I just order stuff, you know. Whenever I do delivery, I order it in my Target app because it's my email address that's on the Shift account, and then there we go. Um, so, uh, but we're I'm probably going to cancel that. Uh, it's coming up for renewal in September. I'm probably going to cancel that just because I'm going to try to do as much of the, you know, the, the shopping myself as possible just to save on that. Because um, I don't, you know, like, I don't mind paying a delivery person at all. I don't, I, I, I enjoy that. But also, again, trying to budget as well as I can uh, while I'm not working, you know, pursuing other things. Mm -hmm. Now maybe maybe yeah. I can get some some you know some voice work. Um, that would be great. I'm actually looking forward to doing a lot more of that. Um, Avoidable <clears throat> costs. Huh? Avoidable expenditure. Avoidable expenditure. Yeah, at least until I have some kind of additional income coming in, so I'm not like eating through my savings and delivery costs. The Target drive up pickup oh. is spectacular. Ten out of ten. You can always sell your feet picks. Uh, no, no, I can't. I don't have permission to sell my feet pics. I really thought you were just going to say sell your feet. And I was like, fucking I mean, that what? Too. I was like, what TikTok did you watch this time? That's, <laughs> a, that's a limited That's a limited transaction, though. That's not a renewable source of income. That's true. <laughs> that's true. That's a, that's Unless a, he's like a chameleon. That's a rare earth metal, if you will. There's only so much Man, of it. Barely. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> It grows back? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Target drive-up pickup, outstanding. Love love everything about it. And like ordering the Target app's really nice because 
you know, you can do everything that you can do on, on the delivery services, like uh, set up substitutions and notes and things like that mm -hmm. for the people shopping in the store. Uh, but then you go to the Target and you just pick it up and there's no extra cost. It is just the same as if you were to go into Target and pick it all up yourself and go to the register. And it's just fantastic. And I'm sure they get a lot more volume that way um, from people that, you know, and it's fewer people that are in the store, which I'm sure they also appreciate. Only feet. Oh my god. I'm not selling pictures of my feet. No you can start one, it only bears. No one wants that. It'd be like fucking Fallout. Everybody disliked that. Ah. Uh. So. But yeah, so I'm I'm you know doing some stuff. I'm um, I'm in like I'm not trying to be too productive. I I'm I'm trying to be productive enough to where you know I don't feel like a a total slob. Uh, you know I'm 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 staying at home, so I'm taking care of stuff around the house as best I can and trying to do some cleaning and stuff like that. Some stuff that I just haven't been able to do because. You know, dealing with work stuff all day, and then I'm exhausted afterwards, and I just don't want to deal it. How does one get into selling feet pics anyway? Well, you take pictures of your feet. Asking you, for a friend? And then you go to websites where you can sell them, and then you put them up, and then you say, here's how much of your grubby money it'll take to see my feet, you perverts. And then they throw money at your face, and then you throw your feet in theirs. And congratulations... You are now a fetish model. I would say that you accept the fact that that person is probably going to masturbate to your feet. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. If you don't, if if you're selling pictures of your feet and you don't go in with that mindset, you are lying to yourself. In Target, like two times in the last three years, it's all drive up. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't go in Target anymore. Like Bean will ever uh, occasionally go in, but like again, everything we can just grab online. Asking for you. There it is. There she is. Uh, oh, right. So I can't make I'm going to make it. Hold on a second. I'm going to see something. Okay. Well, next quest. <laughs> Killing zombies. Putting bullets in their stupid heads. <laughs> you have ass feet? I don't even know how that works. See if I can do this. Hey, ass feet. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that as an insult. Ass feet. Or a term of endearment. I'm not sure which. Daddy ass. Scissor mean daddy ass. Let me see something. Uh... Does this? Da, da, da. Hmm. Uh -huh. All right. Let's see if this works. I I did a new thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's see if this works. This is this is. Does this work? Yeah. That's that's flamingo right now. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Oh, it works. I love it. And... Uh... Thank you. Thank you. Diamond art. Oh yeah, beans. Beans done. Uh, beans done. One of those. Big diamond art hubs are on Facebook. Which you Facebook. However, these diamond art groups have made your Facebook scrolling a thousand times more enjoyable. Yeah, it's. Facebook is one of those things where if you can find like a niche thing that it like the algorithm hones in on you that you actually enjoy, 
then it's like, all right, then you can, it can make it tolerable. Of course, you know I don't miss. of course, Mochi just eats up the drama. Of course she does. She's, Mochi's sitting over here with her giant, like, trash, like, industrial trash bag of popcorn, just looking at the Karens go, going at each other on Facebook. What don't you miss? Uh, my Facebook account. Ah, there he is. Um, so some, so many of you may have seen like the uh, the recent trend of girl dinner. Um, nope. girl dinner, girl dinner. I, I, I have no. I assume it's friends that are females that are having dinner together. So this is great because Tom doesn't know any of these things, and I get to explain them. So, uh, someone posted a TikTok video of herself eating girl dinner, and it's just her, like, eating, like, a, just a bowl of, like, noodles or something like that. I forget what it was, but it was, like, it is, it is not a full-ass meal. It is basically just, like, sides. So, it's, like, it started, like, this whole trend of girl dinners. So, Popeye's, the chicken chain, has gotten in on this. And if you go to Popeye's website right now, you can look at their menu, and you will see girl dinner. And if you go to the girl dinner uh, part of their menu, you'll notice a pattern. And that pattern is, it's the exact same list of things that if you go to their sides and look at. So like the mashed potatoes and gravy and mac and cheese and red beans and rice and biscuits. Nice. And that's, uh, that's girl dinner. Bean's version of girl dinner is buttered parmy noodles. Typically like the uh, the egg noodles. You feel, you feel attacked by this? Yeah. I spent three days over f fighting over a toolbox? Of, co of course. A fucking course. Imagine having nothing better to do than to sit on Facebook and argue with people over something completely insignificant. But anyway, girl dinner. It's, uh, yeah. I did see one uh, that was... Uh, she took, she had like a box of raising canes and she takes one of the chicken fingers out of the box and she goes to dip it in like the little sauce cup and she's like, nope. And she takes, and she got like the 32 ounce like drink cup filled with sauce and starts dipping it in there. <laughs> yeah, talk about girl dinner and how you like your buttered parmy noodles. Mm hmm You got cereal. <laughs> That's... Beans over here like, girl dinner, and she's eating cereal out of a, an oversized coffee mug. <laughs> girl dessert. Oh, <laughs> oh fantastic. Uh, what, am I, what, what level do I... Oh, 265. Jesus Christ. I'll say, my wife likes her uh, cereal dinner sometimes. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, do love cereal. I had, I had cereal for breakfast this morning. Had some of them there, uh, uh, apple cinnamon and Cheerios. Uh, and then there's also another container of stuff that I'm gonna finish up in there that's, uh, like these. They're kind of like, uh, kicks, but like some of the, some of the, the little, um, diddly bobbers, they're, they're blueberry flavored. So they're like blueberry vanilla kicks, basically. Um, so I'm gonna have some of that probably tomorrow morning. I'm going through right now and I'm like, just trying to be th thrifty and everything. Gives me a chance to do something I actually thoroughly enjoy, and that is go through the pantry and eat all of the shit that's been in there for a while that we have either ignored or forgotten about. And that's great for me because I love eating miscellaneous shit from the pantry in the fridge. So I'm I'm enjoying doing that. Um, Bean enjoys it because I get rid of the stuff that she doesn't want to look at ever again, and everybody's happy. Did you get through the Turkish delight? I'm sorry, I don't eat deodorant. That's not what I've heard. Uh huh. Snack plates are the shit. Oh yeah, love just just love a just making making like a, a shark coochie board, but it's just all random like tidbits of shit from the pantry do it flamingo fl okay all right here's here's a here's a question for those of you who like cereal what is your let me let me ask you i will ask you two questions what is your favorite cereal now and what was your favorite cereal as a kid 
okay? I will go first. As a kid, my favorite cereal was Honeycomb, which mm. seems foreshadowing to me because here we are, we've all discovered that I am in fact a bear, okay? Honeycomb loved, loved, loved Honeycomb. Still do, just haven't had it in a very long time. Um, as an adult, my favorite cereal, at least, you know, and I'm because I'm back on my bullshit with this, Frosted Mini Wheats. Love Frosted Mini Wheats. It's simple but delightful. Aren't you required to love Frosted Mini Wheats when they give you your AARP card? Well, you're not required to, but you're you're not allowed to disparage the name of Frosted Mini Wheats. Hi, kitty cat. You want to say hello? <gasps> you want a mirror? You want uppies? Come here. You want a mirror? Come on, you want to come say hello? And say hi to friends? Oh, she Yeah, the answer... He's the pets. The answer to both of those for me is Count Chocula. Well, that's listen. You're 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 a man who respects tradition, and I respect that. You pay you pay homage to tradition. As long as it isn't wedding traditions. That's true. That's true. Oh, if you want to get in the chair, you can go lay in the chair. You can get the, there's a strawberry. You can go see strawberry. Go see Strawby over there. There's a Strawby in the chair for you, baby. You go lay down. Yeah. Okay. She wanted some pets. She's, she's a sweet girl. Uh, so let's see. Just put like you wanted when you're doing. The, Mochi, are you like? Is it like a? Is it a heat thing? Is it not like? Is the heat not high enough to get it crispy enough on the outside? Or maybe you could do like a like a light cornstarch coating on the outside of it. Maybe that'll help to add some additional crispness to it. I don't know. Um, cookie crisp is good. Um, honey bunches of oats. Yeah, there's and I love the different varieties that they have of those now. Uh, so that's that's really good. Um, but like buying the cereal marshmallow, like the fact that you can buy the cereal marshmallows and just put them in shit now is just amazing. Amazing. Like your um, butt, for example. Yes, you can, you can put them in your butt if you so choose. Just remember, remember they are marshmallows and you will shit them out. Um, well, I won't and you can't make me. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. Don't you have to call me the word nice. Corn pops or sugar smacks? Ooh, good choices, good choices. Honey bunches votes with the almonds? Yeah, like the little slivers of the almonds. Those are really good. Yeah. Life and Quaker oat squares dry. Oh, ooh, Mochi's out here living life on the edge. Salt coat recipe is supposed to be foolproof, and yet. Yeah, it sounds like the recipe is not, in fact, foolproof. It is, in fact, foolhardy because they did not write it correctly. Hey, Flamingo, we love you. Cinnamon Life. Uh, so Bean has gotten this um, this organic cereal that she found that's uh, basically like an organic version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch that she really likes. Is that what like you're they make it out of organs? Yeah, <laughs> with her mouth full of it. Yeah. Yeah, she's eating it. Karen, Karen, I love you. How are you? Um... Karen, we're talking about Hi, favorite Karen. cereals. What was your favorite cereal as a kid and your favorite cereal now? Car says, I did not know that. No, that's... That sounds like some ridiculous white people bullshit. Uh, that door wasn't open a second ago. <laughs> Tom's learning oh. that zombies have... They learned how to open doors. Oh, here they come. My favorite is very out of left field. And I guarantee you, nobody's gonna guess it. Like it's a good it one, but chicken I, and rice. It, chicken, yes, no. chicken and rice. It's 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 chicken on Rice Krispies. No, <laughs> I did fucking love Rice Krispies, but no. Okay, what what? Rice Krispies was not it. Hit me with it. The Golden Grams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that for you. I can see that. 
Karen, is it today? Is today your birthday? Everybody, everybody tell Karen happy birthday. Happy birthday, Karen. Like that? Yes, exactly like that. I did it. You did it. Well done. Well done. This Where's... is much better than when I tried to moan earlier. That was groan, and that's different. Oh. Yes. Also, oh, that might be where, why I was mistaken. That's where that's where you had fucked up. Also, go follow Karen. Karen is an incredible artist. She's a pyrographist. Uh, I think that's the. Did I? I? Wow, I couldn't even. I don't even know if I could say that. Is that is that right? I think so. Is that how um, you say that? I think so. Um, anyway, she's she does pyrography. She's a wood burning artist, and she is incredibly talented at it. Uh, please go follow her. She is just wonderful. Her streams have such wonderful chill vibes, much chiller than we have here because she doesn't have chuckle fucks. Well, she's missing out. Well, I think she's doing just fine. Sugar crisp and life, nice, nice. I like that. I like that. I haven't. I've never made the Golden Grams bars recipe from the box. No, but I've wanted to. Um, that's something that I've like. I've been trying to collect little by little over the years. Nice. Is the like the different recipes that you find on boxes of shit. Um, I got a bunch of old ones from my aunt uh, after she passed away. I got uh, like most of her recipes uh, and I got those so that was pretty nice it would be a whole different stream if Lolly and Tom hung out with you yes it would yes it would I wouldn't I wouldn't subject you to that and I wouldn't wish that on you how dare you I mean delightful <laughs> that entire time would literally just be us being uh, massive shit talkers of Zunder. That's true. You, you would you would just and sit in the Karen stream and talk shit about me. Tricks Ooh. and suggesting that you uh, burn penises into the wood. That's yeah. That's also true. Which she would. Yeah, she, could make, <laughs> she would. <laughs> she could. She could make wood wood. She would wood wood. Uh, see, she's in. I told you. Yeah, I the Golden Grand Bar sound. Those sound you delightful. Son of a bitch. I'm in. <laughs> oh, the fruit shaped tricks. Listen, they keep changing what the fucking oh, marshmallows are in Lucky those. Charms. They keep changing the goddamn Lucky Charms. Like every like ten years or so, they'll change up one or two of the Lucky Charms marshmallows just to keep us on our fucking toes. Mm-hmm. It's like, leave, like, where's my pots of gold? Where the fuck are my pots of gold in my Lucky Charms? Oh, they're not there anymore? I don't think so. I don't really follow Lucky Charms. Here's the problem. While the cereal is tasty, it doesn't, isn't going to hold me until lunch. It just isn't. And, and that's so I fair. don't really fu fuck with cereal too much. That's fair. Well, you need you need something more hearty, something with more protein in it. That's that's understandable. I need several proteins. You do, you do. It's true. Fruit shaped tricks tasted better. Facts, facts. Do they update the Lucky Charms song? Yes. Every time they do it, they will. Because like they'll cut a new Lucky Charms commercial every three or four years. Yeah. <laughs> and then right about that time, it's like, all right, it's time to rotate this shit out and put something else in. And then we got to change the song again. And Lucky's gonna go around singing some other bullshit that's not right because it changed the fucking marshmallows. <laughs> Ooh, Reese's Puffs. Reese's, some, uh, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Reese's Charms. Puffs. Reese's Puffs. This is the same song I was always saying. Yeah, pretty Don't much. Don't look into it too much. <laughs> and meanwhile, meanwhile, every fall, we get the same Count Chocula and Boo Berry and Frankenberry that we've always had. You know why? Because you don't fuck with something that works. That's not all. As of last year, you also got Fruit Brute. Oh, I didn't know that. What the hell is that? Uh, fruit Brute was the uh, the fourth monster cereal. It, uh, well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It, was, I... it wasn't a specific fruit. It was multi-fruit, like Fruit Loops. It's cherry? Oh. 
Oh, I thought it was multi-fruited. Flamingo is... She has ordered 17 boxes of cereal so far. She is not done yet. Yeah, the Oreo O's. I've never had the Oreo O's. I still have not had those. Which is... It's for okay. Which is... Oh, okay. Yeah, which is weird because, like... Oreos are like... Store-bought cookies? Oreos are like top two for me. Like, depending on my mood, it goes back and forth between Oreos and Chewy Chips Ahoy. Like... Like depending on on the day, those two are those two are basically neck and neck at all times. Carmella Creeper, oh, is that the, that's the new one, huh? Huh. Oh. And then busts the wall and yells, "Oh yeah, no, that's no, Mochi, you're thinking of something different. You're thinking of something different. <laughs> the Keebler Soft Batchers, those are really good too." But if I was the Kool-Aid man, I could do it. Just yeeting cereal chunks off of children's foreheads. <laughs> Why not? Why not? They're fine. They're young. They're springy. They'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? It's cereal, for God's sake. It's not like marbles. Hey, you little fucks. <laughs> Basically. The Keebler Vienna Fingers. Oh. And the EL fudge, the EL fudge cookies, like the little vanilla ones oh. with the little fudge layer in the middle. Yeah, those I are really good. I love EL fudge. Yeah, yeah, those are good. That's that's Spanish for the fudge. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Hope this helps. And Red 40. Oh, God. But Count Chocula, like you can eat a Count Chocula and honestly, like... Listen, if that's the, if that's the one that you can eat, and you're doing pretty good. Zamothy. Zam, what cereals do you like? You need a song? Zam, he wants... Um, um, uh... What, what if God was one of us? Uh, the theme to the A-team. Wait, I need an adjective. Smelly. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's a good Zam adjective. Okay, the theme to the A-team and Smelly. Those are, those are what you got. Zam is doing... He's doing Mad Libs over here. Mad Libs, clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Zam is always mad at something, so, you know. He, doesn't, he's, he definitely doesn't do calm or happy libs. Uh, Lolly, uh, Zam needs a place. Um... Hmm... Ohio. Oh, I was gonna say his butt! <laughs> I was going to say I, the bathroom where I, Bean takes her baths. I think, I think I picked the worst one, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you did. Uh, <laughs> that's fantastic. Well done. Well done. Bean's oh, ouch, Mochi. Ouch. Ouch. It hurts, it hurts me right in the feels. Okay, so, so you have the theme from the A-Team, Smelly, and Ohio. Those are your three so far, Zam. We want to know the completed Wait, Mad Lib when you're done, though. What do you mean? Why are we horrible at this? We, we gave, gave you exactly you, what you asked for. You, you asked us, and we gave you exactly as asked for. The instructions were clear. We followed them exactly as you specified. As Tom would so would say, QA'd. You wanted better? You didn't specify better. You just specified an... If one food brought back from your childhood and would taste exactly the same, what would you pick? Lolly, what food would I bring back that if it tasted exactly the same, what would I pick? Uh, hot dogs? No, I have hot dogs. Right, but you want more hot dogs. Yeah, but I, I, but I don't have to bring back hot dogs. Hot dogs haven't gone anywhere but up. You, right, butt. but you, but if you brought back <laughs> all of the hot dogs you've ever eaten so that you can eat them again, that would be more hot dogs to eat. That's true. Lines. I can't do... Skittles just... I can't do Skittles. Skittles are just like... They're... They're... They're trick M&Ms. Better Cheddars. Better Cheddars. Ooh. Um, I actually thought Lolly was going to say Choco Tacos for me because he likes to, you know... He likes to hurt my feelings on a regular basis. Yeah, but you can still get those in the Microsoft store. <sighs> See what I mean? See what I mean? 
Sour Altoids. <laughs> wow. Okay. Those cheesecake bars. Um, <clears throat> there was a candy bar uh, that I believe um, Mars made that was called Bar None that I ate as a kid, and it was delicious. And I ate the fuck out of them when I was a kid. And, like, it, they became harder and harder to find. Um, but there was this one little store way out in the middle of nowhere that my uncle would occasionally go to because there were a couple of things that he liked to get. And this little tiny, like, basically general store was the only place that could that carried all of this stuff. And so we would go in, he would get his things, and I would get a couple of bar nuns. Do they not still make kudos? I thought they still do. PB crisps. That's something I hadn't heard in a while. I thought I thought they still made kudos. Damn, I didn't know. Today I learned. Oh. Every year, you should go visit the doctor. It is a very smelly visit. Usually, you have to skip going to Ohio to go. Your doctor is usually a lovingly man or woman who is wearing an awesome ninja outfit. They will look at the intro to the A-Team and his butt. <laughs> Sometimes, they can be very silent. Afterwards, they will give you a bird, and your mom or dad will take you to Bean's Hot Tub as a treat. Thank you, Zam. That's Delightful. excellent work. One of these you days want. you'll be able to pass the third grade, buddy. The scrum oh, diddly uh, bar. What he won was quite simply a new car! I wasn't ready. Boo! Boo this man! I wasn't ready. A, a, a new car! Oh, okay, there it is. Best. That's, that's it. That's all I got. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just let Allie Best do it. She's, she's much better at it anyway. <clears throat> nice, Batsy. Nice. The history of Family Feud. <laughs> Boy, howdy, you learn some things about some stuff when you... If you're learning about the history of the feud. Mochi, I'm, I'm curious to know, what did you learn? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. I... I... You learned all about the hosts? Oof. Oof. Oh, boy. Yep. Uh, so... You learned about Richard Dawson and who boy Richard Dawson. Then you learned about Ray Combs and yikes Ray Combs. And then you learned about Louis Anderson and pour one out for Louis Anderson. Oh, uh, let's see. And then of course there was, um, uh, Tom, what's the name of the actor that played Elaine's boss, Jay Peterman on Seinfeld? Um, it's, I don't remember. It's John something. I can never remember. But he's also the guy who hosts like the um, all the dog shows now. Um, oh, does he? Yeah, but you know who I'm talking about, right? And, uh huh. Yeah, I can never remember his name though. Family Feud has taken quite the turn since Steve Harvey took over. Yeah, it's it's I don't know. We, it's something. We've been watching it a bunch lately. It's it's a good half hour. It's it's okay. It's okay. You learned about the evolution of the logo design. Oh, now see, that's the kind of shit that I'm into. I I played it on the NES. There's a Family Feud game for the NES. I had the Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy games for the NES. Actually, I think I had the one that was that the, too, yeah. the the dual cartridge that had both of them on it. And, Jeopardy was not good on the NES. It was not. Never, there's never really been a good Jeopardy video game, weirdly. No. Well, there's... Well, like, we were looking at stuff the other day. Um, there was uh, a big game sale that Xbox had, and they had the uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire from a few years ago that was on there. And that... We tried that on the PlayStation at... Uh, on uh, Bean's mom's PlayStation. 
one day, and that was just not great. Wheel of Fortune for the Genesis. Ooh. Game show games on the Genesis. That's... Boy, that's, that's like a whole genre. Like, the differences between games and, like, the Genesis versus the Super NES. It's wild stuff. Like, I don't understand why it's so difficult to make a good game show video game. Destroy like, Dan. It's fucking gold mine. Dude, it was great because we were family four, but then it was like, yeah, take a wild guess. <gasps> Wait, was... I know this one. Go on. Fuck, what was his name? Pete? Is it Pete? It's Pete. What's his name Pete? Pete. Pete. Fuck yeah, I got it. You fucking Pete. Oh, Mochi, no. No, Mochi, no. Ah, uh, shit, it's too late. No, oh, Mochi, why? Mochi. Mochi. One versus 100 on Xbox Live for the Xbox 360 was the greatest video game game show interactive experience ever made. The fact that they canceled it is a crime, is a crime against game shows and online gaming. It could absolutely be brought back now better than ever, especially now that there are modern avatars on the Xbox One and Xbox Series platforms. And I could host it. And I'd be goddamn spectacular at it. There is no good reason why we don't have 1 versus 100 on the Xbox. It was the perfect game show format for a video game console in the online era. There's no good reason why it had to go away okay grandpa let's get you back to the home <laughs> <sighs> fucking love that game so much christ i couldn't tell it seemed like you hated it honestly it's a good thing they they, they never did anything with it no oh, are you happy are you happy now mochi you see what you've done oh no she's very happy she knew what she was doing. <laughs> Wasn't there a game show where the contestant had to guess the meaning of license plates? Um, I can't think of it. I'm. It, that sounds like it would absolutely be a thing. I just I don't know that I know it. Dia said this cute gotcha arcade thing too. Oh. Clip it and send it to Microsoft. Listen, I have so many people there that I could send it to. <laughs> Mochi. Mochi could Mochi could clip it, give it to her husband, and be like, "Here, email people, email somebody at work. Just start this, start running this around at work." Or I could send it to like one of the hundred fucking people that I know there. Batsy, enjoy your shower. Don't fall down the drain or anything like that. No, 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 no. What? Mr. Rogers explicitly said I could never fall go down the drain. He said you couldn't. He never t he never told Batsy that she couldn't. You don't know. I mean, it was an it was an all inclusive you. How do you know? He was telling all of us because he didn't know me specifically. He might have. What if he did? He didn't. What if he What if he had heard the tales of the Potato Boy, Potato Lad, if you will? My powers hadn't manifested yet. I see. I see. Don't tell me what to do. <sighs> just imagine Mochi. Can never go down the dream. Mochi's just texting. Text text Dan just a URL to the clip. It's like, it's like, what the hell is this for? It's like, can you just email that to somebody at work? Who? I don't know. Fucking somebody. Just, you know, you'll figure it out. You're smart. And Dan is very smart. It's true. Wash your legs. Yeah, uh, listen, the, the four areas always oh, ears, Here we go. ears, pits, butt, and bits, okay? Or, as, as Lolly likes to point out, like George Carlin said, the French whore bath, uh, slits, pits, and tits. Uh, he says armpits, asshole, crotch, and teeth. Oh, does he? 
Yeah. What well, does he does he also mention the French whore bath? Uh, he might. But... I'm pretty sure he did. He's I'm I'm pretty sure that's where I heard him. I've heard him say that. But also wash yeah, but your you legs. Know what else he says. Go on. He says something else very important. You know, uh, rat shit, bat shit, dirty old twat, 69 assholes tied in a knot. Hooray, lizard shit. Fuck. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely spectacular. Well done. It's it's just never not funny. I don't say this very often to you, but I'm really proud of you. Hmm. <laughs> Does he say anything else of note? See, see, it would have been appreciative coming from my boss. Oh. Oops. I don't know that guy. Yeah, yeah me neither. <laughs> I mean, you know your boss. He, he, he went to go get milk and cigarettes and never came back. You never did go. <laughs> you, you never did go look at the thing that I said that I put. Did you? Listen, I I had to go. Like I went a few. Bassy quite thinks a for few the hours Adam before, was before away. actually. Uh, before opening up your uh, your farewell email, because oh, I was like, if I don't open it, he won't leave, right? That's, that's, okay, it was hilarious. What was it? Uh, when when was this? I gotta go back and find this now. Let me let me scroll past the thousand TikTok talk links that you we've sent each other between then and now. Uh, it's our primary form of communication at this point. <laughs> yeah. So it was it was on was it Monday? Yeah. It was on Monday. So he sends me a message on Discord. Lolly does. He goes, it's showing you're out of office in stand-up chat. So you'll be coming back, right? And he sends me like the, uh, <laughs> you know, the meme with fucking Padme and Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> so he sends the one where she's like smiling. <laughs> and I just send back the one where he's like, he's like looking at her. And he sends back like the, the oh no face. He's like, did we both just open the blank meme and, and snip the sections? I'm like, yes. <laughs> uh, it's spectacular. Uh, but yeah, that's exactly what happened. It's all right. It's all right. It is what it is. Listen, you'll be fine. I give you shit for it, but, you know, I'm already well on my way to getting a manager spot, so it'll, it'll all work out in the end. Hey, you want to go get, uh, you want to go get fucked up by the Waffle Tower soon? Yes. Uh, yes. More than anything. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, for those yes, of you who... we'll who... need to get that penciled in. So, for, for those of you who might have missed it in the Discord, a few weeks ago, Bean and I found a new place here in town. Um, that's a, it's a diner that does all day breakfast. Like a good diner. <clears throat> yeah. And so we saw its it. Its name is fantastic. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's great. The, the place is great. Um, so we go and, uh, we see this thing and I look at the menu and I'm like, this looks pretty good. Beans like, yeah, it looks all right. So then later she hears about from somebody at work who tells her, Hey, you got to try this place. It's really, really good. She's like, yeah, we've heard of that. All right, we'll go try it. So we go. They, okay, bacon is the common theme at this place, right? It's bacon everything. And in fact, every one of your entrees that you can get, they serve all of them with a little maple bacon cream puff on top, right? Like a profiterole. No, adorable. Okay. It's called Bacon Street Diner. Yes, it's called Bacon Street Diner. Oh yeah, Flamingo, yeah. So uh, we actually met the the one owner because it's this family that owns it. Uh, and we met the the wife and she's talking to us about it. She's I'm like I'm like, I have been living here for almost fifteen years and you know how hard it is to find a place that has goddamn all day breakfast, like a good diner? She's like, Yeah, we know, and that's why we opened the place. I'm like, Well done. Well done, because this is spectacular. But they have yeah, we've got like one Denny's nearby and that's None of the IHOPs or anything like that stay in business for very long. Lolly, would you go to Denny's with me? Yes. I no, I don't have anybody to go to Denny's with me. But I want to go yes, because Bacon see, Ollie is yes back. You do. Yes, you do. I've been here this whole time. I didn't know. Uh, you should probably you had enough to form an educated guess. Listen, it they don't they don't serve a chicken and rice dish at Denny's. I don't know, okay? But they have tendies. 
Well, I'm the one that made the moons over my pandemi joke. That just because you made the joke doesn't mean you like the Denny's. It just means you appreciate a good food based pun. I, I guess. Anyway, anyway. So <laughs> we're off topic. Yeah. So Bacon Street Diner has these two towers that you can get, right? And um, one of them is a pancake tower and one of them is a chicken and waffle tower. And they bring you out two Belgian waffles, like these three or four big thick ass chicky tendies, a couple big thick slices of bacon. And then there's like another side of something that you get with it and the little maple bacon cream puff on top. So the first time we go to this place, I'm looking at the menu and I'm like, holy shit. And it had been a day that day anyway. Like I, I, it was just, and so I'm like, I, we gotta go. We gotta, we gotta, I gotta do something here. And so I'm looking at the menu beans. Like you're going to get the tower. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to tell them to fuck me up with the bacon and waffle tower. She's like, oh my God. And I think she thought I was, I think she halfway thought I was kidding. So the waitress walks up, she's taking our order and Bean orders hers. And she's like, all right, what can I get for you? And I look her dead in the eye. I said, fuck me up with the bacon and waffle tower or the chicken, the chicken and waffle tower. And she's like, okay. And several minutes later, this glorious chicken and waffle tower <laughs> is sitting in front of me and it is just absolutely spectacular. I gotta go back and find this fucking thing because it was just, oh. Let me find the tower. The tower, Rapunzel. Rapunzel. All right, here we go. So this is the bacon and chicken and bacon uh, tower and I actually got it with another side of like sausage links because I'm a sucker for some for breakfast sausage links mm -hmm. um, where's the potatoes oh I didn't get potatoes I'm sorry what it's a chicken bacon waffle tower I didn't get potatoes I was busy eating Why? waffles but you got a side of sausage you couldn't have gotten a side of potatoes I wanted more meat like you, I need more protein. But where were the potatoes? Once again, okay, they were in the kitchen, waiting for you. That's not where they go. Well, you, you order them, and then they are brought to you, and you eat them because I, they're potatoes. I ordered. That's it. how potatoes work. The potatoes are not part of the tower. I specifically said, "Fuck me up with the chicken and waffle tower." Those were my instructions. They followed them. Okay, but you, you, the sausage doesn't come with it either. Well, I also I need so, the extra protein. Potatoes don't have protein. So it's not them. like you couldn't have gotten potatoes. You didn't get potatoes. That's correct. You're making it. You're making it seem like because you got this waffle tower, you couldn't have potatoes. No, and that's that not what I said. It's not the case. But that's not what I said, and that was that's the assumption that you made. You simply made the tragic and quite frankly offensive decision to not get potatoes. I'm sorry. I was eating meat and waffles at the time. Offensive to me and my people. Oh, opinion noted. <laughs> oh, offensive. Ugh. I need to unlock coal dust. How am I doing on the gravity wheel? 50. I need more than that. I gotta go to this... Coal, uh, dust, this, is for, this coal dust is for potato eaters. Oh. Is this like coffee is for closers? Uh, yes. I just got a shit ton of the fucking money. Holy shit. One of the chests? Yeah, I, I guess you, you, yeah. I guess if you sit on the chests for a while, they'll actually increase in value because they're random. Or do they? I don't know. I guess. I don't know. But, like... It just gave me basically four million worth of fucking uh, money, and I'm about to. It's 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 upgrading my Eva's as or Ava's as we speak. The temperature for the final cook of the pork belly. Oh, there you go, Mochi. Enjoy Din Dins. Way to prove them wrong on that foolproof stuff. God damn. 
I mean, it still looks really good. I think it looks delicious. I'm not the one who made a point of saying foolproof in quotation marks when it wasn't them that messed up. <laughs> Alright, I need... Do you have a need for tweed? I do not, in fact, have a need for tweed, no. No, I can't say that I do. Ugh. As soon as I unlock coal, I may uh, I may quit this and go to uh, Fortnite for a few, for a couple rounds. I was gonna say it's almost 9:30 already. So. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Did I get another chest. I did. Time lapse 15 minutes. This stuff's made in New York City. New York City? There it is. <laughs> How are we doing on the Avas here? Ooh, yeah, we're... Boy, Mochi's those Avas really are... good at plating. What's that? Mochi's very good at plating. She's a professional, you know? She's, a, she's an artist, and plating is certainly an art form. She just posted a picture of the plated dinner. Oh, yeah. See, that's... Yeah, Mochi is... It's top tier. Like, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful stuff here. 10 out of 10 That's true. would devour. She is an artist. Would devour. Look at that. Well done, Mochi. As, as always. An artist. And that's only when she's a pirate. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I could use a snack. Listen, we fucking <laughs> we go to we go to Outback the other night, right? And if only there was a bin of snacks directly behind you. Yeah, yeah. I want meat. Uh, oh. yeah. Well, that I can't help you with. I don't see a bin of meat anywhere on camera. No. Although you could have a jerky bin. I could have a what? That's a jerky bin. A jerky bin. Yeah, that's true. I could. Oh man, you know what I really like? Those uh, Jack Leek's Tinder Bites. Those are really good. Um, I was going to say something and I've forgotten. Hey, yep. that happens. It's gone. Yep. And it's gone. There it goes! This is all I do now, is the vacuum game. <laughs> me, I'm gonna take a sabbatical and focus on things like my stream and improving it and stuff. Also me, plays the vacuum <laughs> game. Who's to say that's not improving things? Well, that's fair. Listen, I'll tell you, I probably have my run of the category. Let's go see. I'm curious now. I am the only person... I'm the only person streaming uh, in Vacuum Warrior right now. Congratulations to all of you who are watching me. You are the only ones on Twitch currently watching in this category. People are missing out, man. Well done. Well done. Love that. Vegeta, yes! So I have done so much with trains now in Satisfactory that it is becoming ridiculously easy to just send trains places. 
Uh, folks, we have some late breaking news uh, that have, has just come across my desk. Um, for those of you who remember uh, from the late 90s and early 2000s Quiznos commercials with the weird creepy rats, oh God. Quiznos is bringing them back. First of all, why are they still in business? Because they're toasty. I, I, I think they they could not have been clear that mm 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 toasty. Fantastic. That's woof. No, it isn't. <laughs> That's the opposite of fantastic. Your face is fantastic. Yeah, get wrecked or whatever. But eat Quizno subs. No. They are good no. for us. I will be eating not that. Have you ever heard what the original version of that song is? I have not. <laughs> those those little fucking things are singing about liking the moon. I love it. Actu like and, and Quiznos just kind of hijacked it. I love it. Listen They're to actually a product of that weird early internet charm. Uh-huh. hate the internet. Yeah. I hate the internet. So this local man who's playing who's who's playing a, a game that connects online while he's online and watching people online. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it, it, it's fine because his online interactions aren't rated by the ESRB, so it does that's, it really matter? That's true. True. No, that's a different guy. Different. You're, you're you're thinking of you're thinking of the gentleman who plays Satisfactory all the time. What gentleman is that? Uh, Harley. The the does it matter? Oh yes, 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 yes. That's that's that guy. Yes, that guy. Yeah, that's that guy. I hear he has a face. Oh boy, does he ever! I seen it. Ooh, I'm almost to uh, I'm almost to coal, coal. Get coal. You know, I think I will. One billion for the giant, for the giant legally distinct robot vacuum that I can ride on top of. Uh huh. I got mm. the one after that, and then there's no way to get any more of them at this time. All right, let's go. Uh... So, like, there's another vacuum model. Like the image is in there. Uh huh. But if you hover over the dust, it says not even the developer knows what kind of dust this is. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I like that. It is. It actually is kind of funny. All right. Ooh, coal dust. <gasps> oh, now that I've unlocked it, I can unlock. I can turn on the multipliers. Multipliers. Coal. Coal. Dust. Hmm, and I've got uh, a manager that does spawn rate of uh, additional 10%, so I'm getting extra coal dust. Extra coal dust over here. How much do I have to have to auto upgrade? 7,000. Ooh, that's several. Hey, look at that. Mm-hmm. I got two Wait, of them. there's another one. Oh, you got it. It sort of jumped. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it didn't. You didn't get it. Okay, good. I didn't get it. Okay. Because I unlocked it. Now I just have to unlock the next one, which is the the rocket dust. Rocket dust!
Mm, love throwing that multiplier in there immediately. Look at all that. Look at look at me go. All right, now what can I buy with all these with all this here gold? Tacos. Mm, I do like tacos. <laughs> I know it's not Tuesday, but you could still have some. It's okay. I we can all say Taco Tuesday now because Taco Bell has liberated the Taco Tuesday trademark. You know, it's it's not often that I have respect for corporate lawyers and, and their bullshittery, but that's one that I think that was good for the people. Is Taco Bell suing to have the the the, the rights to Taco Tuesday released to the public? Mm. What's their angle? Uh, Taco Tuesday is a very common phrase that people say that are that's completely outside of the context of this one restaurant that had it uh, trademarked and most people didn't know uh. that it was trademarked by that one like small chain restaurant so no one could use it um, and so Taco Bell's like that's dumb everybody says Taco Tuesday that's too common get the fuck out and so so they they sued because <laughs> if we can't have it no one can Got it. <laughs> well, I mean, pretty much. If we can't have it. Everyone can, or something. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it, Taco Tuesday belongs to the people. Whopper Wednesday. Well, Whoppers are different though, because the Whopper is a specific brand of sandwich. Taco is not a Whopper. brand of taco. Pizza Friday. Now that's yes, you like that. That works. Stir Friday. Stir Friday. That, that is better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, you can have it. Uh, I am already flush with uh, coal dust here, which I am just a huge fan of. What else spawns in here? Dirt and uh. common dust. Oh, man, that's great. That's what that is. This is fantastic. Hmm. God damn. Sleepy boy. Tomorrow's Friday, y'all. It's true. Mm -hmm. I cannot dispute this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Pizza Friday, it's true. It's Tomorrow is Pizza Friday. Actually, not for us. We have to go get a pizza crust. We don't have one. We do have uh, other stuff for it, though. We got some, got some pepperonis and some mushrooms. We do need some more sauce, though. We don't have any... Uh, don't have any sauce. Anyway, but we got the cheese and the pepperonis and the mushrooms... Um, the cheese tax. The cheese tax. All right, and now I can buy that, and we can auto upgrade our coal dust. And be a coal miner. I don't know. Every time you talk like a coal miner, you have to sound like an old man coal miner. I, I don't make the rules. This is just the rules. Like an old prospector. Yeah, like the old prospector. That's right. That's right. Listen, they're they're both basically miners. One's mining for coal. One's mining for gold. The coal miner. It's like Mister Freeze, but like folksy and and from the mountains of West Virginia. Have an ice day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as cold as Bud Light. He's the best villain in movie history. I will say, one of my favorite ad campaigns of all time was the radio ad campaign for Bud Light's Real Men of Genius. Those yeah, were some funny. of the best commercials ever. 
Flamingo, buddy, I can't afford to send you any cold because I'm in Florida. There were so many nice good ones. Nice to there. see you. There he goes. There's <laughs> <laughs> Tom's over here still, still in Batman Forever. That's the one with the with the nipple Batman suit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the one. Yep. Nipple Batman and Alicia Silverstone. And Alicia Silverstone, yep. And then Robin, who now is on, uh, I want to say NCIS Hawaii is the one that he's on? With LL oh, Cool J? Drugs. No, he's not on drugs. I mean, he might be, but it hasn't affected his career, really. I, was saying, and yeah, I, don't, know him, I don't know him personally, so. we ha Flamingo, it's not a competition, but we have meth, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know how much you know about Oklahoma, buddy, but uh, they uh, they also have met. Listen, <laughs> it's not a competition, we, but once again, this is Florida. <laughs> we don't have, like, some cornerstone on heavy drugs. We're just the most public about it. That's, mm -hmm. Look, I've almost collected 10 million dirt. It's so many dirt. It is several dirt. See, how am I doing here? Ooh, my gravity well is, uh... Boy, that has taken a spike now that I've got coal un unlocked and I'm starting to collect it. And very, also very happy that I've got the, uh, the shop bot set up for that, so that's really good. Yeah. But it isn't Florida. Yeah, see? Yeah. It isn't Florida. Listen, like, Oklahoma, like like any other state, has its problems, but it also has redeeming qualities, like, you know, the Pioneer Woman. And Allie Beth yeah. came from there, and Flamingo lives there, so that's, you know, redeeming qualities. Then, you know, Florida's got Bean Loaf and my wee baby niece. That's what we got going for us. And my family. Well, yeah, and that's true. Your family, too. <laughs> Yeah, they can come too. Yeah, they can come too. You Pioneer can live without the Pioneer okay. Woman. Yeah. She's, I mean, I'm not saying she's like great, but she's not bad. See, that's the thing. She's. She's too squeaky clean for me. I don't buy it. There's some dirty secret hiding in there that we're all going to find out one day. Okay. Mutu, when you run life in the ditch so bad that it can't be fixed. Well, I'm from a small town in Georgia, and uh, I didn't like my career prospects, so I didn't really have, you know, I was broke, and yeah, that was it. And so, yeah, that, that tracks. Look at that. Boy, coal dust is already uh, heavy in the upgrades. Doing well here. Liking this. So, vibes and you've heard some things about her husband's family. Well, that, that doesn't surprise me. In fairness... There's like... There's usually like a 50% chance that someone's immediate family is terrible. And there's like a 90% chance that their extended family is terrible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least parts of it. Like my grandmother. My grandmother's the worst. And it's like, it's, the, the worst part is it's not overt. It's just just enough under the surface where she tries to pretend like she's a nice person and she's just a cunt a racist cunt 
Or panhandle like the Oklahoma panhandle. No one knows what goes on there. Uh, no, no one knows what goes on in the panhandle. Honestly, the the Florida panhandle is just south uh, South Alabama is really what it is. South South Georgia and South South Alabama. That's what North Florida and the panhandle are, really. Yeah. With that land by murdering indigenous people. Yeah, that's. Are you telling me? Are you telling me that white people are the problem? I am shocked. I am shocked. I am not, in fact, shocked. All I'm saying is if we eat the rich, and the rich have all of these land, all this land, and all these houses and shit like that. It runs by the same. It's the same rules that this nation was built on. If you can just kill somebody else and take their shit, we just eat the rich. I mean, they're not alive after you eat them, so it's, it's just a hypothetical, theoretical... I'd be willing to entertain them being alive while I'm eating them. And that, yeah, yeah, but that's and that's why I specified once you eat them. Yeah. They just, they just think they deserve it. Bina's laying on the floor with her head up against Loaf's, uh, Loaf's, uh, igloo. And Loaf is sitting just outside of it, giving Bean the kisses. Because Loaf is a sweet baby and she loves to give the kisses. Uh. Really catting it up, mm. cat style. Mm, just number one kitten's cat. picked up the loaf and she was giving her snuggles and they're going to go lay together in the cozy spot. She has absconded with the loaf. And your ancestors had this land stolen so you would take some back. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Ali Beth, that's fucking fair. That is absolutely fucking fair. Don't walk on the grass, bitch. It wasn't your grass to begin with. Fuck off. National Park and it was a reservation. There you go. See? There you go. I'm not playing Fortnite tonight. I know. <laughs> I had intentions. What are your intentions with my daughter? The first time that uh, I met Bean's uncle, her mom's younger brother, he asked me what my intentions with his niece were. Yeah. That was. You were like, I'm gonna hold her hand. That was a that was an experience. That was, I met all of Bean's family in one day, and this was, and this was like, two months into us dating. And it was her mom's birthday, so everybody showed up to Bean's mom's house, and I got to meet everybody all at once. I, I wouldn't say I'm fine. I, I survived. It's different. Might be a lot of forge in some parts of Smoky Mountains of the recent major major. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> I would like to go and see if I can figure out a way to determine if I have enough um, blood to be considered. I mean, I'm probably probably not. I mean, we all have roughly the same amount of blood. Shut up. You have more. I 
I mean, I married, I, I married a Cherokee, but apparently that doesn't mean anything. So. Well, yes, that's that's correct. Listen, if 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 I can go back and actually trace and find out that I have enough uh, blood in my lineage, then you might have married two Cherokees. No. <laughs> Maybe me and maybe I'm me half. and Allie Beth are cousins. I'm half Cherokee. Which half? Father. So you know that half. Wait, is he full blooded? Yeah. I didn't know Lisa. that. That's fucking cool. One two hundred and thirty sixth. Wait, but the, okay, but. But Flamingo, does that count enough to be considered a member of the tribe? That's that's the thing that I'm worried about. Bobo, Bobo, no, honey, what happened? Is it Cracko? Could you not find a babysitter for Cracko? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't. I thought it had to be more than that. You are a direct descendant. Shit. All right, I gotta figure that out then. I will. I I gotta figure that out. So now it's like a USAA membership. It's basically, as long yeah. Well. Oh I holy this, shit! I posted the schedule. Where they haven't paid you in a month. Oh what? Then fuck them! Fuck them! No, fuck that, Bobo. Do not show back up there. Absolutely not. If they ask where you are, tell them, uh, fuck you, pay me. Tell them I'm off looking for my paycheck. Yeah. Do not pass go. Collect $200 if you can. Collect $200, yeah. Just fuck them. Collect, collect several more dollars than that. Bills are passed, dude. No, that's, fuck that, Bobo. That sucks. I'm sorry. Honestly, yeah. 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 Absolutely, yes. Keep up with the pace that they want? Yeah, well, apparently they can't keep up with the paycheck that you deserve, so... Fuck them. They can't keep up with a paycheck she doesn't deserve, even. Like... It's... It's real bad. They can't even, you know, be bad at paying an employee. Jesus, what the fuck? Worse than you thought. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, absolutely report them. Absolutely report them. Okay, I mean, you can report them, like, tomorrow. Yeah, report them tomorrow. You write don't have to do it right this second. Write yourself a note. Bobo, write a note. Write a note to figure to, to remember to do that tomorrow. Write yourself a note right now. Yeah, write yourself a sticky note. Yes, so a that sticky you're, note. A, yes. To remember to do that tomorrow because that's horseshit. And that's yeah, no. They can't just not fucking pay you. Fuck that. Yes, Ali Beth is excellent at all of the research. She's a very good researcher. She is. She's she, got like 700 degrees in it. It's true. She does. It's one of her doctor's doctorates. Yeah, something like that. She's she's that a... Several degrees. That's quite hot. Yes, she is. <laughs> oh my. We love you, Bobo. And we do not love when people don't pay people what they fucking deserve to make. Alibeth, Alibeth, she basically knows everything. And the few things that she doesn't know, she knows how to find. You know, you could say she's real good at stuff. She's the smart. Shit, genealogy shit, and just about any other shit. Yeah, that reminds me, I'm, I gotta, f 
God, I would hate some shit. She'll research it. I would hate to have to like reactivate my ancestry account because that shit's expensive. But I would like to find my lineage where my Cherokee is because I think it's like a great great grandmother of mine who is full blooded Cherokee. Did you check your butt? No, no. Oh. What? They have free ancestry access? Oh. Whatever. I can go to, uh... What are you kids doing in my house? Son of a bitch. Oh, good. Uh, I mean, I can go to Palm Harbor. They're part of the library system. I can go there. Fuck. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Cracko. 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 I have a thing for you to do. Oh, 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 this is this is fun. <laughs> this is great. Okay, this I feel like is the only reasonable solution to what we've all just learned. Yes, Krako, uh, I need you to go to Bobo's uh, former place of employment mm -hmm. and be your go be yourself. That's it. <laughs> just just hang out there for a few hours and just be uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that will be that'll be adequate revenge. <laughs> Sounds about In other right. words, go do crime. <laughs> yes. Listen, Crackle, Unleash. I'm I'm not telling you to go and do crime. I'm not I'm not condoning you going and doing crime, but I'm not not condoning it. Oh. Right. Um Gosh. Bean Bean says she condones it. Baja Bean says go forth code red cracko and do a crime. Um I never thought I would I never thought I would say this because it always felt so inhumane, but um Unleash all of the frogs, Cracko. All of them. Form the Frogatron. They're fucked. I'm, hey, they fucked up. They they absolutely mm -hmm. fucked up. Cracko? It's time. Cracko, your day you've, has come. You've trained for this your whole life. Cracko. Go show them that they can't unstunt the paycheck. Ricky Spanish. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, you say that and all I could think is who ate all the pecan sandies? <laughs> I just it's like such a fucking good set of cuts. That whole episode oh my God. is so fucking great. Oh but Jesus Christ. Specifically the montage of showing how terrible he is. Yeah. And then like one of the things is just him pushing the close button on a on the elevator door. <laughs> and it's like Ricky Spanish. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> like American Dad was never my jam, but Roger. Was but ridiculous. Roger, Roger's ridiculous and fantastic. Rib, ribbit, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I know that if it if I do have any Cherokee blood. As a direct descendant, it's going to be on my maternal grandfather's side. Um, because on my maternal grandmother's side, it's all white people. And then on my sperm donor side, it is painfully white all the way back. <laughs> like Oops, it is all Caucasians. It is terminally Caucasian. Listen, my... Okay... My family's lineage, like, on my maternal grandmother's side, are all names like fucking Middleton and, and, and Heron and shit. Like, they're very English. My mother's maiden name is O'Reilly. 
Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, my grandmother's maiden name is Saparita. Frog Team 6 going dark. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> Krako away. Look, they asked for this. Honestly, they... I don't... I don't know that I have or will ever say this again, but they deserve the Krako that they are about to, to deal with. Oh, 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 oh really? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that side of the family is painfully white. They had names like Weatherington and Van Colonizer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty fucking much. Listen, uh, between between the two grandparents, if I had to choose one anyway, it'd be my granddad all day long, because he was actually, well, he was, he was a good dude. He's actually where I got this gorgeous head of hair and this very deep voice. Oh, well, that was nice of him. Yeah, that's, I, I, I inherited those from him. I was to say, did he get those off of eBay? No, 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 he grew them himself, fresh, right in the backyard. National flight related to the job? Don't ask. <laughs> Don't ask. <laughs> Krakow just walks up to uh, to TSA with like a duffel bag full of just passports, and he just nods, and then they nod, and then he goes past. <laughs> he the just gate. goes past them <laughs> with the trench coat still on. <laughs> yeah, my granddad. He was. <clears throat> He was he was a southern boy, but like not like he was he was a good dude. He said see you later, boy. Yeah. <laughs> he was So when when my mom married my stepdad, and for those of you playing along at home, my mom is has my complexion and my stepdad does not. He is he is much he is blessed with much more melanin than than we are. Um and I grew up You revving up the engine there, buddy? And so uh, when he got married to my mother in southeast Georgia in the early 90s, well, that didn't sit too well with some folks. Now, at the time, my mom had a strenuous relationship with her dad anyway, and he wasn't at the wedding for unrelated reasons. Um, but not long after, he actually made up with her and they had a great relationship. Um, and somewhere I've got a picture of the three of us, um, of me, my mom, and my granddad. Um, and so that was that was from several years ago, uh, not long after she first found out she had cancer. Um, so... Um, you know, we that was a nice picture, and then he passed away a couple of years ago. Um, so that's been, you know, that's been kind of rough on her because she's my granddad's widow, uh, who is not my grandmother. They had not been married for they they had been long divorced when I was born, uh, but. His widow does not have a great relationship with my mom because she's just she's not great. Although I took her fucking Atari and which was like her most prized possession, she finally gave in and gave it to me after I'd been asking her for it for thirty fucking years, and it's mine now and she can't fucking have it back and she can eat shit. <clears throat> but anyway, it's on my granddad's side where I would have the Cherokee, so I need to I need to look that up because that. If I can find that out, then that's that's it. That's what I need. So, yeah, Alibeth, I might ask you about that. Maybe that'll be a next week project. I don't know. We'll see. Sir, why do you have 75 different passports? A case of juice boxes, $5,000 in motion picture money, and a framed photo of Alfonso Ribeiro. <laughs> like, oh, uh, why don't you? Yeah, just like... Uh, someone's like... Is that a picture of Carlton? And like one of the frogs starts going like this. It's like so. Yeah, he just does the dance as he's getting on the plane, and no one, no one says a thing to him about it. Krakow's like bopping the one frog. It's like 
Bro, you're gonna blow our cover. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> Listen, Mr. TSA people, like, it's not unusual. <laughs> nice. Uh, alright. Yep. I think, uh... Ooh, I got a chest. Four million monies. That'll work. That'll work. Alright. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, once I get into it, I'll let you know. Hey, when do you, Alibeth, when do you go back to, like, works and stuff? <laughs> oh, Bobo, Bobo, that's, uh, it's, <laughs> the game is, you don't go back until the 21st? Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, that, then we'll, yeah, we'll get together and talk about it. Uh, Bobo, the, the game is Tom's fault, as is most things yes. around here. Basically, like, 90% of everything that happens around here is either Tom's fault or Lolly's fault or a combination of the two, and then Viv is sprinkled in there every once in a while, you know, when he's not injuring himself at work. Uh, oh, okay, all right, all right, I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure. Uh, so... Uh, I might do a daytime stream tomorrow. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. Um, it's it's not Krakow's fault for once, for once. Um, but yeah, I might I might daytime stream tomorrow. Uh, I did like a test thing on Live Space. The latency is a little a little high right now. Um, so when we do the thing on Sunday night, um, that's gonna be it's gonna be you know have some patience. It's it's still in beta. Um, in the meantime, please go, if you if you'd like to join me on Sunday when I'm playing with several of the folks over on Live Space, uh, go to beta.live.space, get your account there. Uh, you can follow me over there. There's the link to my profile over there. Um, now, of course, we won't have all of the, um, fun stuff that we have here typically because that's all tied to Firebot which connects to Twitch and they don't have any of that stuff yet so god damn it the ad started I didn't get the notification that it was about to start um, anyway um, so I'll probably see y'all tomorrow for a daytime stream um, I will definitely see you on Sunday for Fall Guys with the folks over at Live Space uh, and I'm actually working on something special uh, for or live space so stay tuned as soon as I have more information that I can share I will let you know um, however in the meantime please as always be good to yourselves be good to each other and let's get out of here All right, who's doing stuff and things Coco is on her bullshit Zam is on his bullshit other other Matt is playing Elden Ring again Lambo's playing Dave the Diver. Is he actually like, is he, is he just getting started? I think so. Yeah, he's he's only been live for about half an hour. Yeah, we'll go see Lambo. Lambo's Lambo's a good egg. Uh, Lambo's a he's a sheep tuber. He's a sheep VTuber, so uh, he's he's good good people. I met him through Nine, and well, we all know Nine. Nine is Nine is best mom friend. We love her very much. So. Let's go. Mine is German for no. I hope this helps. Thanks, Chip. Get out of here so I can say penis. All right, fine. All right, let's go. You just did. Let's go raid Lambo. Batsy, don't encourage him. Nice. All right. We're going to we're going to go see Lambo. Uh, he's playing Dave the Diver, so um yeah, it's uh we're getting the fuck out of here. Bye. Penis. <laughs>